Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have a very special, special, special guest. Marby is with us. How are you? I'm doing good. This feels very submersive with the yeah. headphones. Oh, man. Let, let me scratch the, <laughs> yeah. how's that? The it's, ASMR for you? It's great. Love I feel like I'm yeah. Yeah, in yeah. VR right now. What's that? In VR? VR. Oh, no, VR. Like in, in VR. virtual yeah. reality. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In virtual reality. I'm like, people are like, you don't know what virtual reality is? <laughs> you don't know what <laughs> what a reality. dork. <laughs> in virtual reality. Um, so great skate video, by the way. Virtual reality. Grew up on that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what are you, uh, you're in town for a little bit? What are you doing down here? Yeah, I, I think the main reason I came down was to do this, oh. but then... I'm filming for a Spitfire part, so okay. and it's, it's go time. I got like a month and a half to. Oh, they uh, they, yeah. put, they put a time yeah. limit on it, huh? Kind of. Who's it's putting loose. this time limit on you? Uh, Ash Rayfield from Deluxe. Okay, well, I gotta have a word with that. Yeah, Let's yeah. Go. Is that because there's some <laughs> sort of product half, product coming out soon? Or? Not that I know of. I oh. I doubt mm. it. I have no idea though. But um, she was basically like, we've like made meetings to talk about it a couple of times and just like never met up. And then it was like, you can have that done by this time. Right. It's like, we've never even talked about it. Like, okay, <laughs> right. yeah, I'll try. Right. So, right. Um, yeah, they want to premiere it at wheels of fortune in Seattle. So, okay. I think that's in September. So I have like a little over halfway there. So when okay. you're okay, yeah. Spitfire, it's a big part, right? Spitfire, biggest wheel company. Yeah, let, let's be honest. But, um, I mean, are, do you have music already planned out for this or are you, are you just, you do. I do. They okay. they like look for kind of like two minute parts, and uh -huh. then uh, my friend Trish, who skates for Glue, has a band with her boyfriend uh, called like Princess Five Twenty. Okay. And um, they covered a song that I really like for it, and like made it kind of faster. I'm like, oh, this kind of fits for like a Spitfire. Uh, a cover that we would all know, probably. Yeah. You don't have to say what it is. Just Keep whisper it. it whisper yeah. it. Yeah. The song's <laughs> not <laughs> out yet. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's interesting that it's a cover though, because music rights are so difficult these yeah. days. Yeah. So actually, a cover, mm. you don't get into all that music rights stuff, do you? I don't even know. I think you can potentially, but. I think there's so many different changes to it that it's yeah. like, it's, mm. it's barely close. The tempo is completely different. Okay. Like the, yeah. Okay. Okay. But is that something the band might trip on or is that even a, like the uh, the band who made it? I don't know how that works. Well, there's covers all the time. So yeah. that's what's. And that you would even barely know unless you actually like are listening. Yeah. To the lit on yeah. The a little bit. You're yeah. like, oh wait, that's that song. Yeah. yeah. Kind of. yeah. Didn't Guy Mariano, he skated to a song that was uh, in Pretty Sweet. That was a cover. I forget what it was no, though. No, that was an original band, I think. Was it? Is yeah. it Band of Horses? No, oh, I'm tripping. Wait, pretty sweet. Pretty I was sweet. It was. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. You'll think of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, think of it. we'll <laughs> hear it because there's comments. two different versions of it. And yeah. That's like, oh, okay. Um, Wait, it was the. Um, what's his name? I, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, Fuck. It wasn't Kid Cudi, was it? It was. It was, it was Kid, Kid Cudi. Cudi. Oh, Kid Cudi. Okay. I thought Kid Cudi was the original, and then, the, and then yeah, she did. I can't remember. The I don't remember who did the cover, but it was a Kid Cudi song. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm, crazy. I'm, I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. I'm totally confused now. No. Um. So that's exciting. Uh, Spitfire Wheels. Yeah. And um, what what percentage are we done with the part? What do you What do you think? A little over fifty, but okay. that's without any B roll or intro. Or mm. I have like a really long clip that kind of went to be the intro. So okay. Mm. Well, and well. I have like four lines, and I never film lines. So I'm like, okay, like I. I haven't added all the clips to the timeline either. So that's okay. a good bulk of it. Though, yeah. Right? yeah. More than halfway. And yeah. I need to, I want to make some like claymation or some sort of animation. For oh, there the you go. Nice. Intro and stuff. Yeah. Too. You're big on the art stuff. Hey, you could you do great art and yeah. stuff. We've got one right here. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll get into all that for stuff sure. too. Yeah. For sure. But are you, um, are you working with someone on this part? Like a um, filmer or? Yeah. Mostly my friend Ray who um, started filming for their, um, yeah, they're super sweet. And I'm like, one of, they're one of my best friends, so it's really easy to just go out and film. But nice. they're also like newly in love, so they're kind of going down that path. And I'm like, fuck, it's like go time. So yeah. and you take a little any opportunity to film. Oh, I'm taking yeah. it. <laughs> You're like, oh, we're going out to dinner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got this fucking film and neither of us have a car, so it's like way harder. You don't have um, a car. No. Well, you live in Oakland, right? I got so car recently. What? No, what? Wow. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. A couple you, months like, ago. Literally carjacked. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, it's, yeah, it's fine. Um, I was sitting in my friend's driveway, like with my car on, uh -huh. just on my phone too long. I was just like, just sitting there, not thinking anything would happen. And then someone pulled up and pulled me out of the car with a gun and stuff. No yeah. way, dude. But, oh my 
much. It sucks, but I just was like, okay, maybe something will happen and, and I'll have enough money to buy a car. Like, just try to put yeah. trust in yeah. the universe. I'm like, maybe I didn't need this one. <laughs> maybe for some reason. Yeah. I just I got cards. That's scary. Fucking yeah. yeah. That is scary. It was like 10 okay. seconds. So I was more just like bummed and like, now I have to fucking talk to the cops. Now oh, I have yeah, to like yeah. find my car or it goes through yeah, a just whole up a old job yeah. That, like uh, wait in yeah. line for three hours at a police station. Like nobody wants to do oh that. Yeah. So you didn't sucks. report it at all? I I did later just so they would know like it was stolen or whatever. Or like try to get it back. And then they found it, mm. but um they didn't tell me. So I got a bill in the mail like a couple weeks later for like a couple Impound. thousand dollars. What? And the reason they didn't tell me because it was under investigation, because the people who took it from me like robbed a place and then totaled it. So I just, so I it's didn't, totaled they and they're still charging you. For yeah. The and they wouldn't tell me if like what condition the car was in either until I went there. I was like, fuck it's gone. Yeah. But I got, I eventually like so many phone calls and stuff. I got oh. to like not have to pay for that. Good. It's like, I shouldn't. Yeah. There's yeah. no reason. Yeah, I'm like, anything. they already robbed me. I don't need to like, Pay you money now. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Thanks yeah. for storing my Fuckers. totaled car for me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I've been waiting to get this thing back. I got back. my two decks out the back now. Like, <laughs> I really needed those back. <laughs> uh, speaking wow. of uh, 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 there, you just came out with the video. Um, ruining skateboarding yeah yeah i thought that was great it was great and <laughs> uh, you. your part was amazing definitely yeah. love that is there let me ask you a question is there and because i see a lot of similarities to like your skateboarding and like louis barletta oh is he a, yeah i love that people catch that because he's definitely like my favorite he i mean though, right? louis <laughs> everybody's favorite yeah. skater yeah. he's the right. best but i mean like your trick selection the way that you um, just do like you're, you're having fun, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think when Louis, uh, his skating like really translates fun to yeah. me. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And then he always backs it up with something. He's like, oh, I can switch backs with a handrail. Yeah. But yeah. also <laughs> just do like a tail drag across the ledge with a raccoon hat. Totally. <laughs> totally. So there is a lot of influence there. Yeah. There is a lot of influence yeah. from Louis. He's great. Yeah. yeah. I met him recently and it was, it was really a trip. Yeah. I, I fanned cool. out on him. Like most people, I don't really like just... I, I made myself say something. Just what? like, favorite skater, man down part was like my favorite part ever. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a good and one. Then, I mean, it was before I left. I didn't do it like immediately. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 <All right>. Later. <laughs> yeah. But he's very, he's an awesome guy. Yeah. He's probably yeah. very receptive Definitely. to it and stuff like that. But uh, but yeah, I love your style. I love the trick selections. I love that like you're just out there having fun, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's hard work. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like it's skateboarding, right? But yeah. it translates, mm -hmm. you know? It's really nice. It's, it's fun to see. It's refreshing sometimes because yeah. there's a lot of skaters out there that are like trick, 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 you know, so serious. and just kind of serious. You don't even see smiles or anything either. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. It's a straight face and that's it. And like, I see you're smiling all the time, having a good time, you know? <laughs> yeah. The skateboarding is all about fun, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This is why we started skating because it was fun. Not because it was serious. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not like, because like, you're counting the stairs. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. We, we just, there are some skaters that are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There are. But yeah. And you could see it. Yeah. But I'm you sure in, in the back of their mind, they're st hopefully they're still having fun. I hope so. Yeah. You know? I hope so. I mean, you have to be having fun with your skating. Like, no one's making millions of dollars skating the biggest stuff. I mean, there's maybe, a couple There's guys. a couple people. <laughs> but, like, well, you it's have funny. to want to do it. Sure. Like, sure. When you see Nigel roll away from a huge set of stairs, you can see that he's happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. It's a different type of, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And um, I want to get up to the point where, like, you know, you um, got on there, turned pro, all that stuff. But, um, I mean, g getting up to that point, too, yeah. because, like, you grew up in a small town in Iowa, mm -hmm. did you say? And then um, I think you broke your leg, oh, right? Yeah. And then that, that kind of, like, made like made you kind of stop skating for oh, a for while. Oh, for sure. Yeah. What was the, what was the story behind that? Like, were you fully in engulfed in skating, and then that happened, and you got turned off? Yeah, or? completely. I love that I get to tell this story to everybody because I always tell everyone, and I feel like God, I'm so annoying. I just tell everyone I break my leg all the time. No, but it's but, I mean it's yeah, just a yeah, part, part of it, of journey, you know, yeah. for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, I grew up in like a town of two thousand people in Iowa, just like a farm town. There wasn't like much skating. I just got into it because of my older brother. I basically just had full skate brain my whole life. I wasn't trying to do anything with it, but I didn't go to college because I wanted to skate uh -huh. and just um, work and skate instead of work and go to school and try to skate. Right. So um, I would just get off work, skate all day till it got dark out work and then get off work and just immediately skate. 
And then I got, I was living in Des Moines. I eventually moved there because there's more skateboarding going on there and sure. stuff. Bigger, um, bigger city. Yeah, know, sure. yeah. It's the capital. Yeah. Um, but then I just kind of, I got invited on a shop trip for the first time, which was cool. It's like, oh, we're going to do like a filming trip to so-and-so, like Subsect. Oh, Subsect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keith Kirchhart owned it for a little yeah, bit yeah, and yeah. stuff. I don't know. I've never heard of this guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was like the coolest thing in Iowa was like Subsect. Yeah. But um, I got invited on a shop trip and was like, oh, that's sick. I get to go to Kansas City and film. And then like a couple weeks before I was skating this tennis court, and literally the last time I skated, like a week before, my roommate and I were there, Cole, and we watched this kid show up and the first trick he did, he broke his wrist. And he was just like, oh shit. And then the next time we went there, we went back a week later and he came and he had a cast on. Mm. And I was sitting on like the little wooden bleachers and uh, we were just talking about broken bones. I'm like, yeah, I've never broken a bone before. Knock on wood. And I knocked on like the wooden bench. Oh. Literally 10 minutes later, I like, broke both bones of my legs super vertically and oh, vertically yeah not even or so you know when everyone rolls their ankle it's like this way yeah every time i've broken my leg it's been the opposite oh my and, gosh and um i tried to take a step and it did like the whole like little oh, gross no. thing yeah it was it sucked um what was the trip what were you doing that, that i was doing just like kind of a tall steep pole jam at this diy that okay. i did like probably the hour before and I just like got up and tried to just do it. And I tried to hold on and just like slipped off the back with like all my weight oh. on my back. Oh, foot. So, you, so you kind of sat on your ankle yeah. the wrong way. Ugh. Yeah. Weird. I got a lot of weight coming down. So if I'm not right, I'll just break something it's apparently. Not, so. Oh my gosh. But um, yeah, I ended up, I had like two months left of my lease and I lived on like the top floor of this apartment. And then the doctor, like I, I got a rod from my knee to my ankle, like the whole shin bone has a rod through it. And then yeah. the other bone has a plate on it and then screws in my ankle and like two bolts in my knee kind Still of randomly. to this day, you have yeah. that in there? Really? It's all permanent. Okay. And then. Does it bother you at all in any way? Yeah. I mean, the fact I keep breaking it is like. Okay. Sucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, we'll get into the yeah, second yeah. and third break um, here yeah. in a minute. But, <laughs> but then my grandma, um, I. I couldn't even put weight on it for eight months to even try to start walking again or anything. So like I needed people to take care of me. Oh my God. And so I moved back to my small town where I lived and just like was bedridden for a couple months. I mean, that having could, my grandma take care of me, but see that, that right there can instill so much depression. Oh, I was super depressed. Yeah. yeah I it, can imagine. it sucked. And I just turned 21. Mm. Oh. So I got off my pain meds as soon as I could, so I could party. Okay. You got yeah. off your I, was, I was going to, to the bar <laughs> and once I was out of the wheelchair and I was on crutches, I was going to the bar. Um, okay. Just uh, do something. Yeah. 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 Good thing yeah. that you stopped the pain meds and not mixed and mashed. Oh, no. You know, yeah. uh, all pain meds did for me is like make me more depressed and constipated. So I was I like, this sucks. Yeah. Pain yeah. meds are the yeah. fucking worst. Let's just be honest. I for mean, sure. Really, they do help people, but they're fucking. They help. When you're in that pain bro. after surgery and stuff, that yeah. helps. Yeah. But but after does, that, it does. After that, it's not good. The problem is, is the addictiveness of them. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The leeway. For yeah. sure. But good for you. That's oh, amazing. Thanks. So, so you were depressed and everything, and you yeah. used, but you snapped out of it as soon as you could start going to the bar? I mean, a little bit. Okay. I just like, <laughs> I think um, I started making art for, I mean, I drew and stuff when I was a kid and through my whole life, but like I started like painting and stuff. I, cause my, my best friend at the time was going to art school. Mm. So I was kind of like living vicariously through him and just like painting every day and finding something to obsess over. And he kind of stopped skating cause he was in school and kind of became like best friends. And then I didn't skate for like four, four and a half years mm -hmm. just because even after I could start putting weight on it, like the whole next year, like I had like a limp the whole year and like, I'd like relearn how to walk kind of. Right. And then it was like, I tried Ollie once and it like hurt for two days. And I was like, oh. that's not a thing. Like I'm not going to skate anymore. And, but yeah, I mean, right. let's, let's not, yeah, uh, you were love, you loved skating. Oh yeah. At that point. That's but you was I, just, it was a, it was yeah. just a matter of like doing it the way that yeah. you wanted to do it. Right. It's like, you couldn't. Yeah. Right. yeah. It was, it was traumatic enough. And then it was like a physical reminder that like, Oh no, you can't skate like this. Yeah. This wow. hurts. Um, and then I, I tried skating for like a week or two, like, two or so years after and broke my arm doing like oh. a revert over a hip. So I was like, I just shouldn't do this. Yeah. One thing after much. another. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, but I would have dreams of like learning how to crook again and stuff. The skate dreams suck when you can't skate and you're like, oh, I know, right? <laughs> Um, did, I do, did I do that today? Like, yeah. Like, no, you didn't relearn how to crook. Yeah. <laughs> the weirdest thing, because like when I would get hurt, I would watch skate videos. When I wasn't hurt, I wouldn't watch skate videos. Yeah. Like, You're like just, still scratching an itch somehow, but like, yeah. um, you know, it was just it's bizarre. Yeah. yeah. So you, and then what happened after you broke your arm? Um, I quit for another like two years or so. Okay. And then all I really did was I hung out with like my best friend and I was in a relationship for like three years and we all lived together and had like a house in Iowa okay. and it was very chill and just made art, started hanging out with more like college art kids and people were more like open-minded and accepted and like eventually like came out about being like bisexual. And then once the relationship ended, I kind of was like, I mean, I always knew I was trans and I wanted to move away where nobody knew me and hmm. uh, start transitioning, but I wasn't going to do that if like, unless my relationship didn't work kind of thing. So what, is it just because like you, you just wanted a fresh start? You wanted to, to be around nobody that knew you or not having to explain yourself like every day to everybody and okay. kind of like, right. when you don't really know what's going on. You're like, I just need to. And you're, and I, I would assume yeah. you're figuring it out yourself For too, sure. right? Yeah. So now you have to explain it's it could be when you don't really like you're like I don't need yeah. that. Yeah, but what's cool is like I eventually moved to Madison and like all my friends were cool and like obviously the people that should stick around stuck around. Obviously, right. like yeah, all sure. my friends are amazing. But then I kind of started skating because I didn't really have any friends there. I was bored, and then like. Skating got me stoked again. Mm. Like, what was it? Um, finding unity obviously got me sparked. Mm -hmm. um, and just like, I remember uh, the BA documentary came out. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I kind of already knew he was gay because I was like a rumor forever. Mm, yeah. Like, but it was never confirmed. It's like, oh, BA's gay because he skates with Alyssa Steamer and she's gay. It's like, that doesn't make any sense yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah, that's not. Um, uh, but, um, that was cool. And just like getting stoked and like Nora and like, mm -hmm. Oh, like God, it'd be cool to skate again. I feel like the BA coming out piece was such a huge yeah. 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 for moment. everybody in skateboarding. Beautiful moment in skateboarding. Yeah. Really it's, yeah. It's crazy that like, it wasn't even that long ago that that was huge. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's, it's what awesome. Was it, like, what, yeah. 10, what was it? 2016, 17? I think something that, like that. It was, yeah. It wasn't why, that, why am I thinking? I got a weapon in the background. Uh, like it's not even ten yeah. years. Well, Roger, yeah. Roger would know. Roger he worked it. on it. He <laughs> yeah. edited it and everything. Yeah. How long, Raj? When did it come out? I honestly don't even remember. <laughs> yeah. It's like 2016. That was say 2016, 2017. Right. right. Yeah. But that that was huge. Yeah. Like yeah. not uh, for everybody in skateboarding. For I think sure. It, I think I it was knew amazing. Before that, I'm sorry. I thought we found out, and then a piece came out. Well, we all like. Yeah. In well, the, we all in, knew. In the, in the, yeah. In the inner circle. Yes. You know? Right. Right. So that's why for me it goes back. But the piece didn't come out until, like you're saying, 2016. Yeah. 2017. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, did that play a major part in? For in, sure. Yeah. It was kind of like a an accumulation of things that like I still paid attention to skateboarding to a certain extent. And then like that and like being stoked on like Nora and like just people like a ton of women like filming skate parts and like mm -hmm. watching those all the time. I'm like, damn, that's so fucking sick. I didn't have that when I was younger as much. You had like two people right. yeah. that I knew of. And then, um, finding unity online, um, which was started by Jeffrey Chung and Gabe and like a few other people like Who Cher. started there also. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like pretty much the same thing, but really confusing. Okay. Nobody really knows what's going on, but it's kind of the more like actual company. Gotcha. Need is more of like a community thing. So, right. Right. Um, but yeah, so like, just like seeing other like queer and trans people like skating and it just being cool. And like, I was like, okay, maybe I can skate. Mm -hmm. And then I could like, I went to the skate park and I could slappy no slide, like the six inch high ledge and like rock to faking. I was like, this is a start. Right. Oh, right. And <laughs> yeah, I eventually found friends at the skate park, which was cool. So, mm -hmm. and that was in Madison. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you, did you end up moving to Oakland like quickly after that or were you just, no, no, I, um, I would visit Oakland a couple times a year and I didn't move there until probably like six months ago. Oh, maybe. recent. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I yeah. lived in Madison for like four years, I think. Oh, okay. Gosh, yeah. what a, what a welcome to Oakland getting carjacked. Yeah. Know, right? First six months. 
Yeah, it's just kind of part of it. Like, I've been there a couple of times with people getting their windows mm-hmm. broken. It's, you it, can't leave it, anything in your car, bro. Yeah. So. It, right. It sucks. But it's also, like, super beautiful, and um, it's more compact than L.A., and you can still do skating there. And, like, I have, like, a, like the skate community there is really, like, close-knit, and everyone yeah. loves each other. And you can just go to Rock Ridge and just, like, run into 30 people and, I don't know, like, see Carl Watson and... Barker Barrett and just like random pros That's will so show red. up like yeah. Chico showed up there the other day and just like you just get to watch pro skaters and skate curbs I, I love yeah. it yeah. is that the spot the under the bridge yeah. The- yeah I've you always just, wanted to go there yeah, and it, it looks, looks fun it's the best slabby spot I've ever been to. What? Have you been down to here to the beach? I have been. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not a huge okay. double-sided okay. curb fan. Oh. You gotta do, that's when you gotta go, you gotta you gotta just go all in. I know. On a double-sided. Yeah. Double-sided. They're risky. The wheels okay. over the top. Yeah. So it's it's risky. I overshoot curbs a lot. Oh, do you? Yeah. What do you mean? You like get on them and then you just go you over the, the top? Yeah. 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 Mm, I can I can see that for sure. Let me ask you a question. When you were when you when you said you were like coming out and doing all that stuff with um in, in was that in Wisconsin yeah. that all this was happening? Now being a skateboarder before and being like, were you like scared or anything of like what the skateboard community like would view you as or something? You know what I mean? Like, were you apprehensive of that? For sure. I think um, I wasn't thinking about like at large necessarily because I wasn't trying to get like good at skating. I was just trying to skate. But even at large, I feel like that's easier than a smaller community. Yeah. You know? Um, Yeah, for sure. Like I would show up and it sucks because I wasn't good anymore either. So I couldn't even rely on just like, at least I can like do this trick they can or they'll be like, oh, because they give you a pass with anything if you're good. You got a little bit of Yeah, if you're good at something like, well, I don't care. Like yeah. they can back Smith. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, yeah, there's that. I mean, definitely like kids would say stuff every now and then or just like laugh at you and stuff, which really sucks. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you just kind of realize that they suck. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like yeah, who, they, why would you come do that? Pretty like, much. Yeah, or they have their own. in a learning stage of their yeah. life. You know what I mean? And I think that's sad. Some, some kids just don't know how to deal. express it or deal with it. They, yeah. That's the way they know how to do it. And For sure. It's unfortunate. Right. Like they get uncomfortable because they don't know. Exactly. Yeah. It's, but what was cool is just finding people there that I could skate with, like having skate friends again. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember I, I made a Tinder looking for friends and um, I started talking to this girl, Laurel, Laurel there, who's awesome. And she skates and like was part of this DIY and was just like, Oh, let's skate sometime. And then like we followed each other and stuff. And then like I left this like skate park and five minutes later I saw online that every, like her and a ton of her friends were there skating. And I was like, I should go back and like try to make friends. And I like showed up like, Oh, Hey, like funny to run into you. <laughs> um, just kind of barged it. Oh, so you had never met her before. I met her once. We skated okay. before she had to go to work, but it was like, it was fun, but it wasn't like we were like, okay, let's skate all the you time now. Really right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you came back and like barged. Yeah. Like, hey. And we just skated the mini ramp all together and drank white claws and then went and got food. Uh-huh. And then, they were like, oh, let's go to the DIY. And then we skated like this DIY till like two in the morning mm. and just got so bruised up and stuff. But I was like, whoa, I have friends. I went and skated yeah, the DIY. Kind of, like, yeah. oh, this is crazy. And at this point in time, how's your leg doing? Are you like relearning your tricks? I'm relearning and- stuff. Like I could like 5 a mini ramp and okay. do a couple things, but I couldn't, I could maybe kick flip, mm-hmm. but I was still Which leg, back leg, front leg? Back leg. I went from a back leg skater to like strictly a front leg skater. Isn't that bizarre? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you got to adjust. You have to. Yeah. Yeah, for it's sure. like I got a really strong front leg, but a really weak back leg. Mm. Did, you, did what, you do, I'm sorry, really yeah, quickly. Ahead. Did you do any physical therapy for the leg and everything? Well, the first time I had to, but it was so weird because I was in a town of like 2,000 people. My physical therapist was at the nursing home. And so I would do stuff with him while like there's like, you know, 80 year olds in there kind of on a little bike. And it was just a very weird, eerie. It's almost like you yeah. feel like you're, they're not yeah. even on your level. Yeah. Like you're, you're, ad- you're addressing like, you know, the elderly. Like I'm not, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a skateboarder. Yeah. You know? 
and he would like he was really nice and stuff but he'd like give me like an ankle massage which felt great after like surgery and stuff mm-hmm. and then he'd just like oh you should come to my church and it's like ah uh, like maybe <laughs> like not but i have to keep coming back and seeing you so yeah. it's like really awkward <laughs> Um, like I came for here for this, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. but this last time I broke it a third time and, um, I started doing training with my friend Carolina and it was, we kind of met through that, but now we became best friends. So now I got trained with her a oh, couple perfect. times a week and, nice. and oh, yeah. I was, that's awesome. Yeah. I was like, it, I needed to do something. I was like, okay, I've broken it a couple times now. Like I want to keep skating and now like I have a reason to keep pushing myself instead mm-hmm. of just dinking around. So it's like. Is it the same break every time? Uh, the first two times it was. And then the third time I broke it like the fuck. I suck because I've broken these bones, but <laughs> I think the, um, is the tibia the small one or is it the fi- is the fibula? I don't know. I broke, I think I broke the small thing. Yeah. In my, my, my ankle too. The uh, small one on the side, not your shin bone. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I'm not actually, I have no idea. I have a, <laughs> I have a plate on the bottom of it, but I broke it up towards my knee. So I thought I tore something in my knee when it happened. Okay, so do you didn't break? Do you break it like above the metal piece? Yeah, they were like, mm, yeah, we think it's the only spot it could give. That's okay. why okay. we wow. think you broke because it's a weird place to break it. Apparently, right. so yeah, I could have gave it, right there. Yeah. yeah, well, it's weird because like in my mind, I'm like, okay, if you you have a a, a bar from your knee down to your ankle, you like, how could you break your yeah, leg again? Should, like help. almost in the same place that yeah. you did before. Well, and the second time, I I broke it around the rod in the exact same spot. It, it broke were, around the yeah, rod. Like it cracked yeah. in the same spot or something. Like there, there was a line, but they're like, the metal didn't bend and it's not going to go anywhere. So just wear a boot for a couple months. But okay. I was like, in my head, I'm like, they're going to take my leg apart. And like, I don't even know how, like I broke it again. Yeah. How is it going to, but yeah. that story was really funny. That was the, I was on a trip with uh, CCS was doing a collab with unity. And so like a bunch of us kind of went down from SF to LA and we were in Santa Cruz. Wait, no. Skated Santa Cruz. The second day we were in, fuck, San Diego, I think. I don't My California San Luis Obispo? San Luis Obispo, maybe? It was a ditch in... Hmm. It was down, way down San Diego? I think so. Oh. No. Okay. I am. I broke it in LA. I don't know where I'm going with okay. this. <laughs> I remember having a broken leg the next day in San Diego. I, we all went to the Baker Boys Park, and like it was like, oh, like Eric's going to let everyone skate there, and like showed up, and... Uh, met him and stuff and like the first run I did I just like went to lay back front rock a four foot quarter and it was so slippery I, I slipped out and just did the same fold and like I, I knew I broke it immediately oh and then like Eric Ellington helped me up and it was just like weird fever dreamish kind of <laughs> like why is Eric Ellington picking me up with a broken leg and he's like oh I think Foy left his sweatshirt here and like propped up my leg with it he's like you can have it and like somebody else took it or something but um what what happened? Nice did you food. go there? Uh, I went you... to the ER and waited there for like six and a half hours with uh, my friend James, which is a trooper for doing that because it's a long time. Um, and I got really stoned before I went there to mm. try to like distract myself from the pain. And I sat there for six and a half hours and watched like kids movies, just like out of my mind. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. It was on the You broke TV. your leg at, 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 at Baker, but you smoked a joint and then went to the hospital? Yeah. Okay. Just because they're making like, sure I have this, that, that timeline. Yeah, all my friends correct. were like, here here you go, like, this will help right. kind of thing. I'm like, sure. <laughs> I anything. feel like that would just like hone in on it, like, the, the, yeah. the pain. It kind of sucked. History. Like right. in the moment, it probably wasn't the move, but anything to make me think it was yeah. the move. Yeah. It wasn't like... It, it wasn't like hanging out sideways or anything. No, right? okay, so no, just... I just felt and heard the pop and I couldn't put oh, any okay. weight on it. And it was hot, you know, that broken bone feeling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then, um, I got an x-ray and they said it wasn't broken and they just gave me crutches and I just like had a sock on. Like I couldn't put my f- shoe back on. But I was like, I know I broke it. Okay. I think they just rushed me through cause mm-hmm. it was like super busy and stuff. So I just, the next couple of days I was still on the trip just like watching. And then when I flew home, I went back to the doctor and they're like, Oh no, you broke it. Damn. Yeah. What hospital did you go to? I don't, I don't even remember. Somewhere close to the closest one to the Baker Boys yeah. Park. You'd be surprised how many times you get a first That's a, a North a look at something and they'll be like, oh, you're fine. Yeah. And the next time you go back, like, oh yeah, you're screwed, dude. Yeah, <laughs> it's so sad. You yeah. want to trust yeah. them, but yeah. you're like, yeah. 
can't it's, hit the local. It's happened to me before too. It's it sucks. Yeah. But another shitty thing about that too is you just you dealt with four and a half years yeah. of that and now it's almost like you're gonna repeat this. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. The the whole next day I was just like I had to in my head accept it. I'm like, I'm not gonna skate anymore. Right. At least I got to skate for a little bit, you yeah. know, trying to make the best of it and like still have all these friends and then they were like, Oh, it's it's not going anywhere. Um, there's a rod through it still. Like, just wear a boot for a little bit. And then, like, in that moment, Jeff was starting there and then, like, hit me up when I was back home and asked me to ride for his company, which I was like, why would he, why would he choose me? Like, I just, I don't even know I'm going to skate anymore. And um, That must have given you some hope, though. Yeah, for sure. Know, it gave me like, a reason to, like, maybe yeah, I should try to skate. For right, sure. Right, right. Yeah. And then I was, like, back in probably, like, four months to where I was before. And it was... I was like, okay, cool. I'll take it. Four yeah, months is bad. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Was there your first sponsor, or were you? Do we no. other sponsors? CCS was CCS. Enough. Yeah. Before Jeff ever sent me any boards, um, Matt Price um, hit me up on Instagram and was like, "Hey, like, if you ever want any pants, like, I'll give you a code." Kind oh. of thing. And I was like, "Cool." And uh, I was like, "That's random." I used to get CCS in the mail every month or whatever. And, <laughs> It was but, kind of a trip. Can I ask you a question? At this point in time, when when um, when he's hitting you up, are you did have you put out anything, or are you just on Instagram? Just Instagram. That's it. Really? Yeah. Okay. And it wasn't like we want to sponsor you. It's just like here, I can get you some free get, pants, like right. free, I, free, free anything. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Oh, it, it exceeded any like expectation I had in my head. I didn't expect to get a a pair of pants or a board for free. Yeah, like, right. And randomly hit up. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, cool. Like, hell yeah. Like I really liked his photos and stuff. So it was like, Oh, so you knew who Matt Price was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just because he takes cool skate He's photos. He's an amazing and, photographer. Yeah. He is. He really and we're is. both bigger skaters. So we got like that little respect, like, Oh, hell yeah. You're skating <laughs> and doing it. And so when I first, um, I eventually started getting flowed boards from Jeff. And then when I went to, um, visit everybody in Oakland and the same trip I went and visited Matt in mm-hmm. LA and stayed with him and Susie and shot photos and stuff. And then, yeah, that was it. Yeah. Huh. So it was CCS then there. Yeah. And then, cause you're on crux too, right? Yeah. So, I think crux might've been the third thing. Okay. okay. Maybe. Huh. I don't remember. What, what's a, what, what span is this? Is this all in like the, a year if or two years? Time like what is so hard to wrap my mind around Me anymore. Too. Like the past couple of years. I'm like, that was four years ago. I'm like, right. that was a year and a half ago. <laughs> yeah. In some reality, it does feel, it does feel like that. Yeah. Like, Damn, that was that long ago. It's long and short in the same time. Because I think maybe two years ago, I started getting flowed from Crux. Mm. I don't know. I, I just mentioned to Matt, and I was like, oh, yeah. like, I love Crux, like, because I was a huge, like, Enjoy fan and Tilt Mode. So, like, all those people were on it when I was younger. Louis and, Barletta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a pair of, like, the fluorescent, like, the brights, like, the hot pink ones. Oh, yeah. You'd always yeah. see, like, Colt Cannon skating, like, the neon yellow ones. Colt Cannon. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. There's a nail. <laughs> <There's a nail. laughs> yeah. I remember Carl Watson. Carl was so, he's like, dude, those are the best trucks. Yeah. They're literally the best trucks. And I, I was just, I, I don't know. I thought that was really cool that he was so all about it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I was like, oh, sick. Like, Alex White, like, I paid attention to, like, her skating and stuff. I was like, whoa, she, like, runs that. I'm like, that's so cool. And Matt was like, do you want to be on Crux? I could just hit her up. And I was like, if you want. And then she was, like, down. And then. Shout out Alex yeah. White. Yeah, yeah, I love Alex White. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what year was this? This. I mean. Two years. Maybe 20. Fuck, 2019 or 2020? 2019 to 2020. Like we because didn't you turn you turn pro in like 2020, right? Is that yeah? Is that about right? Yeah. So so literally yeah. within a year, a yeah. year and a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. When you were starting, it, it sounds like you, you got sponsored through Instagram. That, yeah. Did you start realizing, oh cool, I'm gonna start filming videos with like Matt, or is that kind of what started happening? That's or? what I wanted to do. Yeah. Because that's like the main thing I cared about and like still cared about is like video parts and like putting time and effort into mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. yeah and like making something pretty like an album or it's something like an art piece yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i never filmed parts growing up because we'd we'd either just make montages or we would make promos for videos we were going to make and never drop it right oh here's another <laughs> yeah. promo yeah. Yeah. Like, here's all my yeah. best yeah, footage for the <laughs> teaser <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah um yeah. and then yeah. when COVID happened um i had i was working at a coffee shop and a tattoo shop and then both of those jobs were just like no more. And then I had a ton of extra time and I was getting unemployment and 
my roommate and I were just going out and filming stuff like in the death lens app on my phone or like my old handy cam or just like anything we could film on. I was like, I just want to film something and I don't want to, I don't know. I didn't have money for like an HD camera. And then I think Jeff saw my part and stuff. And then we just posting them online, like YouTube and stuff. I hadn't even posted it yet or no. anything. I just like it showed. I'm like, Oh, like, do you oh, want to no. use this for anything? Or I just, or I was like, maybe going to be a crux part. I just wanted like a reason to film sure. essentially. Totally. And then, um, Jeff was like, Oh yeah. Like we'll put it out and stuff. And then last minute he was kind of just like, Oh, could you get a photo in the next five days? And I'll give you this much money. And I was like, for what? <laughs> like, that's what I got. I knew something was up and he was just like, Oh, just, I don't even know. Just trying to figure out like promo stuff Like gave me like the most generic answer. I'm like that never, like we don't need to do any, like, I don't, we weren't trying to like do like a big company or like there was no reason to actually get a photo. Right. So I was like, that's kind of weird. And then he asked me to draw a graphic. I was like, am I drawing my my pro graphic or something. I just thought it was like, <laughs> I drew like a team board that never got made. Okay. Um, and then, uh, at some point he decided to turn me pro, but was going to surprise me. Cause I had a trip planned to Oakland and, um, he put out an Adam Thrasher, but didn't realize that it comes out super early in Madison because that's where it's printed at. They print it oh, out. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize so that. So I'm sure the skate shops get first dibs. Yeah. On. And like the skate shop I was like flow for and stuff, or like I ride for. So. Which shop? Uh, Freedom. Freedom. In okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's Freedom and Alumni there. Um, yeah. Freedom's awesome. I love everybody there. But um, yeah, I. One of the people working there, like, like, oh, did you see the new Thrasher? I'm so stoked. And I was like, no, like, oh, no offense, Thrasher, but I wasn't like paying attention to it. I'm like, why would you even like, bring that up? Yeah, I'm like, yeah what's like, in it? Yeah. And um, then he just sent me a picture, and I was like, oh, crazy. Like, I had just like, I wasn't doing anything. I had just like gotten stoned and was ready to clean my house. I was, <laughs> I was on the toilet. Like, okay. I was like, whoa. Kind of just like didn't really know how to take it in. And then I called Jeff, and he didn't answer. And this was your, your pro ad? Yeah. Okay. And then he was like, he he wanted some sort of surprise. So he's like, oh, yeah, like with COVID, like we don't have any of the boards yet. Like you might not see anything for like six months, but yeah, I guess you're pro. Like, sorry, it got spoiled. And then I went to, um, I went to Oakland and we were skating and filming. And then I finished my video part and we had a premiere for, my part, uh -huh. uh, my friend Shag's new part, James had a part in the glue video before they were out. And we're like, oh, we have everyone's working on these things. Let's mm -hmm. have a little backyard premiere. Uh, sick. And um, which was really crazy because uh, my friend Fruta gave me like my own joint. Like I don't even smoke that much. So I was like really stoned. And then my friend gave <laughs> Are you me. sure you don't uh, smoke yeah. that much? <laughs> I know. It sounds like I do, but you can ask any of my friends. I'm like, maybe take a hit. And then I'm like too stoned. Go to the hospital. Load yeah. me up. Yeah. You know? But, and then my friend gave me like weed wine. So I was just like. Weed, I'm, weed wine. Wow. I know. I okay. never heard of it. Infused but weed wine. Yeah. Hey, well, Pour go. me a glass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I don't even remember like watching half the stuff and. It was sick, but then at the end, Jeff was like, "Oh, you're." They spelt out my name with all the boards on like the sidewalk. Oh, sick! Oh, it was really. I just didn't even know it. I was like, kind of out of it. So, <laughs> well, it, was it, was cool. it must have been the weed one yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, but that's awesome, and it was funny because I was like, it wasn't even the graphic I, that he asked me to make. I'm like, maybe you just didn't like that graphic. And the graph, so. you, you didn't even make that. Never came out. No. You said no. I mean. It's amazing as a skateboarder to, well, I mean, back when we, we, we didn't get like surprises and everything. Yeah. I got like semi surprised, you know, it was more of like a, I don't know. It was a weird thing. It was like a hindrance, but uh, <laughs> uh, long story short, I was going to Barcelona with Mark Johnson and we were like about to get on a plane. And then I had to go down this demo that was, and then they had a little thing in the paper, but they had a it's, thing in the paper? I mean, uh, in, a thing in the magazine. <laughs> they the took newspaper. out a newspaper. <laughs> they, they, they had a... Yeah. Back then we did it for the newspaper. It was newspaper. in the Orange County Globe, you know? <laughs> yeah. It was in the or pretty cool. Orange County Herald. <laughs> yeah. The newspaper could add out the paper. Yeah, no, but it was that they they they, they pasted the my pro ad oh, in sick. the magazine, had mm. some kid, and I was I was literally signing my own, and I looked at it, I'm like, I just signed my own pro, okay? And wait, then, wait, it was pasted in Yeah, there? they pasted it in. Oh, I, mean, I it thought it was... How'd they pick the kid? 
they just asked some random oh, okay. kid at the signing, <laughs> yeah. like, hey, just yeah. give this to Chris. Blah, blah, blah. But then it was rad because I had everybody else sign it. Mm. That was it. Oh, so that was cool. That's and sick. then I was like, okay, can I get the fuck out of here? We're going to Barcelona. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, go. But uh, you know, nowadays it's so much. And I always ask people this because I'm like, would you have liked to known, uh, have known? Or did you like the surprise? You know, Because some skaters, they, they want to... No, and be prepared yeah. and maybe, you know, really they can promote come, it, promote like, it yeah. and come out with stuff or film for something. You know what I mean? So I think in some situations it makes sense to know sure. before I wasn't trying to go pro or anything. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was cool. And the surprise wasn't the way it was. They tried to do it. So it was kind of spoiled. Right. I don't really yeah. know. Well, you knew already from yeah. the ad, but yeah. then you never had seen the board. Yeah. You didn't do the graphic. It gets board. real once you see like the board and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it was cool, all your friends there to celebrate it with you. Yeah. Yeah. It was really cool to like be in Oakland and have all my friends there. And yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Did you uh, ride your board? I did. Well, okay. it sucks because now I feel weird because all I ride is my board because <laughs> yeah. of the shape. Oh, it's like oh. the shortest wheelbase they make. Okay. And so I'm like, I want to ride other graphics. Right. I just get my board and it looks like I... Just love myself because it'll have my art on it. And <laughs> well, no, because no, I'd, I'd be proud it, of that. It, it took amazing. a while. <laughs> it, it took a while for me to actually like ride my own boards. Yeah. You know, it's like it, it is one of those weird things that you you at first it's cool and then you feel really awkward. You know, it's like not me, not me, not <laughs> for me. It was like, hell yeah, I got bored. I'm riding that shit. Yeah, <laughs> but for me it was. It was awkward. Like I didn't want to ride my own board. I wanted to ride other people's boards, but then. You start thinking about, you know, like, well, okay, this is how I'm promoting, I'm yeah. skating the board, you know, it's like, I should be proud of it. It's my board. You know what I mean? And I, then you start seeing other people out in the wild oh, that's with cool. your board. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. Crazy. Sure. But they only make your board in that specific shape in production. Yeah. Too? And it's slightly shaped, like the nose is a little square and it kind of bevels out kind of, it's like the most not shaped, shaped board, mm -hmm. but it's... Uh, a 14 wheelbase. Like I, w I would skate a popsicle, but they, all the other popsicles on there are a little bit longer. You and should it ask sounds them like to make your, it, your board in other people's like graphics. And they did that recently. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Cause yeah, I was yeah, like, I skated yeah. like 15 of the same graphic in a row. And I'm like, I feel weird. Like, I'm yeah. like, do the other people on the team just think I hate all the other boards? <laughs> like I only skate my board. Right, right, like, right. like at first it was cool. I was, I didn't feel weird about skating my board, but after a while it was like, I only skate my board. Yeah. Right. Like, I want to skate one of the other graphics. Yeah. But actually dubs, it got to the point where, I mean, even a girl, um, I would skate another shape rather than my board and they yeah. would screen my graphics on the boards that I would skate. Yeah. You right. know, so yeah, yeah. It, it just became goes both ways. It goes yeah. both ways. Yeah. yeah. What size board uh, width are you writing? It's an eight five. It might be slightly more at some point because it bevels out a little bit, but I think it's supposed to be an eight five. Mm. I've never actually measured it. Yeah. So yeah. wide board, short wheelbase. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. What size wheels? Um, fuck, I don't even know. I think I started with a 54 and they're really small. I've been skating them for like probably like five months or something. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. so they're, so 54, <laughs> now they're about a 52. Yeah. 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 Gone 51. Down a bit. yeah. I, I looked at like, uh, my rough draft for my part and like, there's only two clips with like another set of wheels. I was like the whole thing on like one whole set thing. Of, and they're colored wheels. So it's like, you can kind of tell. Are they the orange wheels that you skate in your part? No, it's no. not those anymore. It was, um, the new... Skate like a girl wheels. It's like a pink and green. They're kind oh, of intense okay. looking, but I just kept skating. Right, they're behind you, Chris. Which yeah. one? Oh, oh, these ones right here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Those are. Oh, the these ones. aren't that intense. Well, they're kind of intense. I'm, I'm a white wheel guy. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, yeah, these are dope. Spitfire. Look at this. Spitfire. Yeah. They have such good so packaging. Bad. The yeah, way they package is amazing. Everything, Love man. that. Spitfire. Hell yeah. yeah. Shout out to everybody at Spitfire. Yeah, yeah. So your pro. I mean, we, I feel like we breeze through a lot of this yeah you know, because i think i feel like there's a lot more before you turn pro i, I right? wanted to ask something Please, how did you if you're from a little town in uh iowa how did you find skateboarding um my older brother got into it somehow i don't know right. how he found it but um probably movies or skate movies. yeah and then i i was kind of just doing anything my older brother did when i was little because that's what you do when you're little mm -hmm. and um what's the age difference yeah how much older like three years older three years okay yeah, yeah. Sure. and him and his friends skated so i started skating and um he eventually broke his ankle a couple times uh -oh. so it's like maybe it's hereditary or something <laughs> the ankle breaking. um and then yeah he got into other Okay. crazy stuff but okay. um he eventually quit skating but he had a really weird bag of tricks he could triple flip 
and like do on like flat ground yeah and crazy primo stuff but also would ollie the biggest gaps in town and he was just okay too much energy <laughs> little town two thousand people how did they take skateboarding there um it wasn't even enough of a nuisance to do anything okay. about it there was like five people. people there right. they all knew us Right. So, Those are hey. yeah. skateboarders. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think I ran away from the cops once and they were just confused. <laughs> <laughs> like they pulled up to the this for? post office and they'd warned us about skating there and we were like in middle school and then we just ran through the alley and then they like saw us later and just <laughs> looked at us and just kind of just kept driving. Like, so you, so you guys all recognize each other. Yeah. 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 It's like you're the yeah. only kids here that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we're not going to find you again. Yeah. You know? Oh my gosh. So, and, but that is interesting though, because it, it, you know, coming from a small town, I mean, we, we had, we had Vincent Malou on, he, he didn't even have concrete where he grew oh, up. Oh yeah. He that's... just, I mean, and he's, look at him now. Yeah. I mean, he, like a kid coming from a place with no concrete. I think, what he do had, you say? They paved over a had, driveway. His driveway after, had. After a while. Yeah. Oh my God. That's yeah. how he was able to that's, like That's skate. how he was able to skate. Okay, I didn't, I, I, I had concrete. You had concrete. Luckily. Okay. Yeah. And Perfect. I had a concrete driveway, but there wasn't really any spots. There was, the closest skate park was like 25 minutes, 30 minutes away, like into the, the nearest like city kind of thing, mm-hmm. but we'd, we'd only go there if we needed something. What about the local schools or anything? It's not nothing to skate in. No, they're really boring and flat. Really? Yeah. Mm. It was just like a parking lot. There was metal bleachers that are aluminum. Oh yeah. But the, yeah. you can figure out quickly that they're not that fun. Yeah. 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 They right. dent and we, everything like that. Yeah. yeah. We would just build like boxes and banks and stuff mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. out of like particle board. Yeah. Any yeah. skate yeah. parks anything. that popped up nearby or anything? There were some, like in Waterloo, Iowa, where that's where Sam McGuire grew up, okay. which is like the closest actual town to where I live. Oh, How yeah. far away is that? Like 25 minutes. Okay, not bad. Much. No, yeah. but like my parents wouldn't take us there unless they were already like, they like, oh, we're going to do, we need something in this right. city. I got so a doctor's appointment in Waterloo. Yeah. 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 Like, which is so the random. Only time at a convenience. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, I eventually like met friends there that skated and um, yeah, I had like a reason to go there. Cause I was like, Oh, can I go stay at so-and-so's house this weekend? So I can actually skate at skate spot or skate a skate park. Right. Right. And then that was it until eventually one of us got a car. So we just like go into the city every weekend. And yeah. what you said that um, where you grew up, how far away is that from Des Moines? two hours okay yeah and what, what, what age did you move out to des moines i think i was i want to say 19 or 20 okay 19 or 20 is, i moved okay. yeah i lived there for like two years and then i broke my leg around the time i turned 21 so yeah oh you broke your leg at 21 yeah, yeah. so you started skating when when i 15, was 15 14 earlier than that fifth or sixth grade okay like I, I had a skateboard like from Walmart, like a Marvin Martian. Board. Oh, Marvin the Martian. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I would, uh, amazing. I would Heard that's a great deck. It. Oh, yeah. it's <laughs> beautiful. Plastic <laughs> trucks. Um, but then that was like middle school is kind of when I like was like, okay, I'm going to learn how to ollie and learn how to ollie while moving. Right. Do tricks and stuff. Yeah. Which you need a better board for. Yeah. Obviously. Sure. So do you went from Marvin the Martian to what? Did you go to a skate shop and get a board or? Mm, there was a sporting goods store in the town called Shields. Okay. It wasn't a skate shop, but they had decks. And my first pro board was a John Rattray Zero board. Okay. Wow, that's kind right. of, I loved Zero. Yeah. Like my, we eventually had like a computer and LimeWire, so my brother oh, downloaded man. every skate video that ever existed. Is that amazing? Yeah, wow. LimeWire was the best. Yeah. God. Oh, what, Dub's got his whole uh, what a moment in oh, yeah. his whole music library. <laughs> what a moment LimeWire. in yeah. Yeah. dude. What else in peace fucking LimeWire? Shit. What videos stand out to you when you were a kid? Uh, I loved Sorry. Um, any of the Zero videos. Okay. For a bit, um, I remember I tried to download. Uh, New Blood, like when it came out, I remember like it's out now. I'm like, better check LimeWire. Yeah. yeah, and it was like Zero Skateboards New Blood, and we downloaded it, and it was like some weird porn. Like it wasn't. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Um, the old, the old know, some, switch. Huh? Someone <laughs> made the switch. Huh? Yeah, someone posted it and did that. So I eventually found it. and That was like one of my favorite videos. But the first 
legal video we had was yeah right mm. i think we got it at like a best buy or something a best. it was before it got copyrighted oh okay cool. i got confused like years later when i saw someone else playing it in a skate show i'm like this isn't the song yeah yeah, yeah. oh so That's you got the best buy yeah. soundtrack before they were able to change it mm. yeah. Yeah. for you yeah Shit. yeah it was that was uh definitely on repeat forever i remember my dad watching the the like green screened out ramp part and stuff. And he's like, how do you know every trick isn't like this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I think I know that some right, of these are real. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. We can tell. Yeah. yeah. How are yeah. your parents uh, supportive of skating? Um, It was just more annoying okay. for like my mom. Like, oh my God, you need another skateboard or yeah. oh, like, need more shoes. Uh, you're or getting whatever. hurt. And they never tried to get me to stop doing it. Okay. Um, My dad was stoked. Um, He's definitely like, would probably rather me be good at sports or like be really into hunting or fishing mm. like him. But I think he was just pumped. I was like into something out there doing something. Yeah. 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 Which was really cool. Cause like he would try to give me skate advice. Like I learned my first trick was a fakie shove. And he's like, he's like, don't worry about any other tricks. Just get really good at one trick. The fakie, the fakie <laughs> show. I love fakie show. I love fakie show. It's yeah. say that. But well, like, I didn't get good at the trick. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, I learned some more tricks. Yeah, but, but I, it's I, funny how your dad has known nothing about skating. He's just, yeah. this is what you need to do. Fakie yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe it would have worked out. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, it makes sense. You know, like get good at the three pointer. Yeah. You know, yeah. get good at the dunking or yeah. whatever. There's a lot yeah. of things I gotta get good at in skateboard. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's more to it than the fakie shove, Dad. Yeah. You know? But that's awesome that they were somewhat supportive. Yeah. You yeah. know, and and you know, um, because it's hard. I mean, I think growing up as a skater, you know, it's like school, this, that, and the other. It's like there's no they the parents don't see a future yeah. in it. Well, back you know? then, for sure. Now it's a whole different story. I, well, even now, I think it's uh, even now. I, 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 I would, I would believe that there's still some resistance. Yeah, there, you're going you know? through so much product so fast. I mean, for me, like I remember my mom being so bummed because I would go through some shoes so fast, and they would be payless shoes. You know what I mean? They were mm-hmm. like 20, yeah. 20 bucks, and mm-hmm. she'd be like, "You fucking fuck these things up so fast." I'm like. What? I'm, I'm skating. Doing, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I'm doing yeah. fakie shoves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Hard good. on the shoes. Yeah. 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 It's, um, I think my parents were pretty loose parents and they were just happy that I wasn't getting into trouble. Like, uh, mm-hmm. fortunately like both my siblings kind of struggled with addiction like their whole lives. And I was just kind of flying by and being, but not getting into trouble. So they're like, Oh yeah, just do whatever you you're doing. Right. Kind of thing. Are Which you the youngest? Good. Yeah. Uh, I'm the middle, middle child. Yeah. The middle. Okay. They just, yeah. It's funny because I like both my parents kind of eventually were like, "Oh, sorry, we didn't pay much attention to you when you were younger." <laughs> just because my both my siblings were like constantly in trouble or oh. doing something, and I was just kind of like the weird kid that was quiet and didn't yell back at them and stuff. So like, they just let me do my thing. It's always like the youngest. Yeah. It, the youngest is always gets the most. Yeah. Leniency and, for sure. and stuff. And know? then my older brother was wild. So yeah, they were constantly having to deal with whatever he was doing. Oh, so they were put. All the focus was on him. Yeah. 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 It's fine. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Focus it's on, on skateboarding, and that like that helps a lot. Yeah. 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 Tremendously. Yeah. Yeah. Skateboarding is awesome. You know. I mean, that's why we're here. I know. You know. Yeah. It's amazing. So now, how were they? Uh, how were they supportive of you coming out? Yeah, for the most part, I think it definitely took them longer to not just kind of like ignore it and mm. try a little bit. They're like, "Oh, that's cool," like not going to talk about it or anything. It's or... kind of like an unsaid thing. Yeah, and my mom actually lived in Wisconsin, so when I moved there, I was closer to her and mm. stuff. Um, but eventually they're they've both been really supportive which is cool and yeah it's amazing yeah yeah and now like they they try it's funny because my grandparents were like better than both of them at it like, oh really yeah why 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 were they better at I, it, they're just like like oh we love you and they'd ask me questions and like mm-hmm. you know call me marby and just like try and a little bit harder instead of like, oh yeah, we love you, but we're not going to talk about it. Kind of like, mm. yeah, okay. it was an adjustment period. Right? Yeah, for yeah, sure. Right. And it, it takes a bit. And I understand that. Like I wasn't like super hurt by it. And luckily my parents weren't like 
get out out of my life like some right what you hear about yeah don't have the best experience with right that, for sure. Sure. and uh you know uh, you you saying that your grandparents would ask you questions and stuff like mm-hmm. do you ha- do people come up and ask you questions and stuff like that and how do you respond to that do you do you like it do you not like it is it an annoyance or what? every now and then i feel like people like most people in my life already know everything and then strangers don't really ask me questions like that that much i appreciate Mm -hmm. when if somebody doesn't know something and they want to learn i would rather them ask me something than like oh is that cool if i say this or like oh sorry like kind of thing like Mm. i'd rather have that than just like someone who's just like really quiet or like somebody just doesn't care right so and it's hard because a lot of people get exhausted of having to explain everything and yes Mm -hmm. which i understand but I don't know. Right. You can take the time for the it when it's important. Who talking to, yeah. Like, the genuine aspect of it or the, I think we were talking about this before, or like if there's a, a mean way that they're trying to go about, you know what I mean? Like there's, you can tell someone's like intentions with yeah. stuff. If right. someone's yeah, like yeah, well-intended, yeah. but they might say something you're like, Oh, like I know they weren't trying to hurt me yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. Also just with like pronouns and getting misgendered and stuff when it's just like a one time experience. Like if mm-hmm. I'm at a, a convenience store or something. I, I don't really care. But like if mm-hmm. someone's in my life, then obviously I'm going to be like, I don't know. Yeah. It's right, different. Right, like right, right, for right. sure. Because I don't think it's your job to like educate. Yeah. Right? I mean, who wants so. to like spend the, the 30 second interaction, like spend a minute longer and be like, please don't say it. like, right. That person's not going to care or remember. But I, don't. I also think that, the, that, you know, learning is the best part and having conversations for is sure. a way for people to learn, you yeah. know, and, and to figure it out and to, um, just kind of, you know, really, um, get to know kind of what's going, like you said, the pronouns, mm-hmm. I mean, even for people, it can be confusing and they don't know what to say and they, they might not even say anything because they don't want to say the wrong thing. Exactly. For sure. They don't you want know? to like offend that, someone or whatever And it that is, could be yeah. more awkward than anything. For yeah. sure. And you like know? nobody learns anything that way. Exactly. Yeah. So it's just yeah. right. kind of just yeah. like being safe or, yeah, it's, it's interesting. The stories is just have understanding. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like whether you know or not, you know, I mean, I'm still having to learn in, within the process. For you sure. Because that's just where I'm, I'm, I'm at. I don't want to just speak out loud and not know what I'm saying. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the part where I think the person that's curious might have an issue. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. For sure. Especially if they don't know how to go about it. You know? Right. Yeah. Right. And it just takes time. And I think when you first like are coming out and you start transitioning and like, you don't have a lot of confidence. It, it is hard to have those conversations with people. Mm. And, um, I understand when it gets exhausting, but now I'm at a point where it's, it's nice when people like you can tell people are trying to understand or something. Yeah. And like, I didn't know pronouns and stuff when I was coming out. It was just, I had to learn everything too. Kind of. So sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I, I didn't allow myself to do any like research or like think about any of that until I was like, just like, Oh, like I can actually do this. Like, Well, what do you mean? You didn't want to research just like being trans. I just tried to ignore it as long as possible. Cause it's such an inconvenience. And in my head, I'm like, you can't live a normal life. And, not know. transition and like the only representation you have is like people on movies and tv where they're a right. monster and mm. you know like oh my god she's a dude thing so it's just like right. i don't want to be that and then it it took like realizing that there are other people out there that just like are trans and you can do that and just have a normal life and yeah it's not actually like a huge deal after right, a certain yeah. amount of time. Right. I like, I think, I think just like we were just saying before, it's just like, it's just the learning process. And it's just like, um, just, I mean, even with us as skateboarders, I, we were just talking about this before the show. It's just like, you know, when it gets exhausting, mm-hmm. you know, trying to explain, like even just being a skateboarder, like yeah. you meet somebody like, well, what is it? How do you do that? What do you make money? It's like, it's just like, okay, I'm going to push play on this and just listen to what I've said a million other times, Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So not the same thing, but I, yeah. it's relatable, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's like, gosh, okay. Yeah. And I, here's another question too, because like, I think that skateboarding has come a long way mm-hmm. and I think skateboarding has a long way to go. Right. Sure. And I think that um, especially this day and age with social media, it could be a brutal place. Yeah. I mean, we even uh, even our show gets it. You know, it's like yeah. it can be a brutal place. And do you how do you deal with uh, like social media and just I mean, do you try to ignore a lot of this? For stuff? sure. Because it, it doesn't hard help. To. 
No. It doesn't help paying any attention. To sure. It. It's, yeah. it's definitely hard to. The biggest thing was just uh, turning off commenting for people who don't follow you. It's like, you're not going to just come to my page to like, tell me to kill myself and stuff. Like, why would you that's do so, that? That's so horrible. Insane. Unfortunately, yeah. stuff still leaks through every now and then where people just say weird stuff oh and God. you get messages. But that like kind of decreased it by like 20 times. And like, okay. so you can turn off comments mm-hmm. from people that, that you don't follow. Don't follow. You can do yeah. that or people who don't follow, follow you. you. Can't yeah, yeah. I didn't do all the way because I didn't okay. want to feel like you can't come unless you know me. Okay. Right. So if they don't weird. follow you, they yeah. can't. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. So that's that, that, a dope ass option. Good job. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. That was a good, a good little feature they added mm-hmm. for sure. sure. How does it feel on the other side of that to be an inspiration to so many people? Just it like, definitely <laughs> um, like imposter syndrome a little bit mm-hmm. for sure. I mean, yeah. I feel like even with anything, if you, if there's a lot of eyes on you and people look up to you, it's just kind of like, kind of like, oh, why? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't like me that much. Why do you <laughs> like me that much? Um, it is cool, though. Um, yeah, it's kind of surreal because I never expected to do skating. Yeah. And be in, I was never like, it's never uncool, but I was never like a popular person. So it's, it's been a weird adjustment. Yeah. But now it just kind of feels like I got stuck in like a weird dream. Mm. <laughs> a little bit like it's awesome though right yeah. sure. right and kelly's right i mean you are an inspiration you know yeah, and i think yeah, like um i mean just you you're you're doing skateboarding like it's a great thing you know it's like i skateboarding is so progressive and we you know it's like i would all the people i've met and just everybody that i know through skateboarding yeah. you know but then there's also that part of it too that's like just ugly. Yeah. You know, and there's ugly people in every facet of Absolutely. life. Absolutely. No matter what Absolutely. you do, there's going to be, but it's like, you know, it's harder when, when, when you're doing something that you love, you yeah. know, and, and, and you know, you know too, that they are in the same realm as you loving this thing. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And then it's just, it's, it's more of a, of a, a really slap in the face. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, and, it's weird. Especially when like, they'll like I, out of curiosity you like go look at their profile like who is this person right. and it's like oh they're like favorite skater is this person like that person's like my friend like it's like exactly it's so I random am. like you know if those people knew you they would hate you right like, yeah. right they definitely wouldn't be fucking with you yeah. yeah 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 it's an interesting thing like i said i i think skating has a long way to go but i definitely think that we are we're getting there for sure. You know, I mean, which it's is amazing. It's crazy to think that there had to be a documentary about a pro skater being gay, like not even 10 years ago. Right. I know, like right. it's cool that it happened. But it's like, like now it's like, Oh, would you need that? To ha-? Like it's, it, right. there's so much more representation now that it's, it's less taboo or yeah, something. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, for I think sure. skateboarders now are all supporting each other from wherever they're going through to like help them do what they want to do. Yeah. We are, we are in a different realm with yeah. skateboarding as far as the generations and the eras. Like, I mean, this is the most like open where skateboarders are just open to everything. Yeah. You know what I mean, any and everything, even cl- including tricks. Oh, for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, there, there are tricks back in the day, man. That we, we, we were like, why would why a person do you that can't trick? do that? Yeah, you no, can't no. do that trick. That trick's gay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> It's like, gotta reclaim those tricks yeah. now. Uh, pressure like, flips is yeah. probably in that category. I wish I could pressure bags. flip. <laughs> but I think I like the tricks that, because you, you couldn't imagine looking good. People are now making those tricks look good. Oh yeah. And that's the difference between wh- whatever it is, you know? Like, I don't know. Yeah, when things got looser, it's nice. I do a lot of tricks that probably aren't that cool or wouldn't be that cool that long ago. Mm-hmm. And then I got to think about it. I'm like, nobody who likes my skating would like be mad that I did a varial flip. Like, right. and if somebody is like... <laughs> Really like, oh, that trick's ugly. Well, then I guess they're not going to like my skating or something. I don't know. This I think is it was, what I do. Yeah. This is what I do. Yeah. 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 It was funny. A long time ago, skateboarding was specifically, I felt like, was like when I looked at it as a kid, it was like how difficult the tricks was. And it was like, who's getting better and better and better? And then when I started to realize why I love skateboarding was because of the art form of it. And Jason Dill said in a Transworld video, he's like, Skate- the skateboarding is loosely based off of... Uh, professionalism it's yeah. based off of art like an art form for sure you know and that's when i'm like wow that's why skateboarding is so special yeah it's you can express it with any way who you are or how you want to put it into the world and it, right it, yeah i was talking to matt about that the other day and it's it's nobody well i mean there's a couple people but not everyone got into skating to 
see like someone skate a 30 star handrail because yeah. the person doing that probably got the same feeling someone got doing a kickflip for the first time like it's it's not like that was you know what i mean like yeah. it's right. i don't know it's skating and i think a big thing is just having relatability in skating mm-hmm. yeah. like mm-hmm. there's i pay attention to like people that are super gnarly and stuff but i love seeing videos of people that looks like they're trying yeah. really yeah. hard like yeah, yeah. hold on to something or like local videos or just someone who's like closer to my skill level to like be relatable to like, Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. cause there's kind of a gap in that where like the main people filming parts are people who are like trying to get paid or getting paid to do that and are the top and they're super gnarly. But then you don't see that many like people putting all their effort into doing something like that, that are like not getting paid. doing yeah. that. Yeah. Like I'm, it's I'm, yeah. sick seeing local videos of just someone just, getting gnarly to their standards, like just for fun. They're for the, not getting yeah. Yeah. For the love. For the heart. Yeah. 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 For sure. I saw a video, uh, my friend Kenny, she posted on her Instagram, like she was been trying the process of, she started skating like maybe a year ago and, or maybe six months ago. And she was just like trying to learn how to kickflip. Yeah. And I watched the progression and then she filmed it and it was her first try landing it. And it was like, Every skateboarder that has gone to that point will knows that feeling. Oh yeah, and I'm like, that was the cool. That I, that's why I was like, that's why I love skateboarding so yeah. much. Yeah. Is that yeah. one time your brain clicks a little different, and you're like, I'm gonna try it differently right here. Yeah, and you land it, and it's it's bananas. Yeah, but I thought well, that was really cool. I, I love the first kickflip yeah. videos so much, or like yeah. seeing it in person's even more special. I saw my friend uh, Rue do their first kickflip and their first video flip in the same day, and I was like, what? It's like I, I I trip out because I feel like the varial flip kickflip shove its would be easier, easier. Yeah, yeah. right. You, you heard people do it, that. Yeah. yeah, Miles Silvis. He said I did a varial flip first. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. Darren Harper's kids. Uh huh. Have you seen them? Yeah. Oh my god, it's the best. So sick. Yeah, you, like he has a, a bunch of kids, and they're mm-hmm. all learning. Like, I think even Eric Costin got his first his kids first kickflip on the on yeah. The film. Yeah. yeah, yeah. God, it's so it was sick. so rad. I for- and you see the face, bro. It's just yeah. like, he lit up, bro. It yeah. was like, it, this is it. I'm doing this. Yeah. It, wasn't on, it wasn't on grass. It wasn't on the carpet. Oh, it was yeah, on it concrete oh, yeah. rolling. You know, it's like, they're, it's special. You know? I forgot Darren Harper's kid's name, but one of them was doing like nolly heels over A-frames and stuff already. And I think Damn. she's only like what 10 or 12. Yeah, or something. I don't know. It's cool. It's like, whoa. It's got to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. be in the jeans, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, one of his videos went viral with uh, with his daughter. I think they were at, Lo- not, not Love. Pulaski. Uh, Pulaski. Pulaski. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I seen like randomly, I came across it. It, it might've been on TikTok or something, but dude, he, the views were gnarly. I was like, basically just helping his daughter get down the, like, the ledge. Yeah, I'd never yeah. seen that he, technique she, before right. either. Yeah, and he caught her like just in case she fell. I was like, man, crazy, bro. Yeah. Legend, see that. Like, legend yeah, bro. so cool. It's Aaron cool to like, start skating like at a proper street spot, too. Like, oh, at yeah. At the plaza and stuff. With your dad. Yeah. 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 He's like a legend, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, my Jumping God. on those gnarly-ass ledges. Yeah. Over there. yeah. Can you, can you uh, talk a little bit about Unity? Yeah, I'd love to hear more about it. I, I don't, I'm not too um, hip to what what it is and 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 what it's all about. Basically, it's kind of a couple things. I don't even know everything, but um, Jeff and his partner Gabe were in a band together that they called Unity, and then they also were like, "Oh, let's throw like a queer skate day, mm-hmm. and we'll just call it Unity." And Cher was there for the early days, and oh, wow. a couple other people, and. Just like doing small Share little strawberry, yeah, uh, love her, yeah, same, yeah. <laughs> just doing like small little meetups, mm-hmm. and then I think they eventually just made like an Instagram, and just to like see if there are other like queer and trans skaters out there, and um, and if they like found something like, oh, can we like post your clip? And it was just kind of like a way to find more like queer skaters okay. and like a little like platform community thing, and then right. Whenever they'd travel or something, they'd try to do like a queer skate day there. Just like a meetup. Just like, oh, you can find other people mm. like you that skate or want to get into skating. And Has it grown? I mean, I'm, I'm sure it has. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm sure it has. Yeah. But... I mean, now I just see like new people pop up every day. But I remember when I was mm. like, oh, I know like three other trans skaters. Now it's like probably 150 or something. Really? Uh, or even more. Yeah. It's yeah. It's gotten really big. In the Unity group. In and, um, well, or just in general. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Unity is like not a team. That right. They try to keep it that way. I think that's why they started there. But Unity is more of just like, we're going to have meetups and yeah. giveaway boards and 
Which yeah, is awesome. It's, it's awesome because, yeah. I mean, not only bringing people together, but like just um, yeah, people you relate to, right? For is sure. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can find other people. Like, yeah. And, yeah. skate and it's fun to have like a meetup and yeah. and so do they travel around and do meetups or is it mostly in, in certain places or they do um not like intentionally like we're going to go on a big tour okay every now and then i think they might do something like that like or it's a more intentional but sorry i'm burping i ate so many chips and salsa <laughs> <laughs> um but like uh jeff travels a lot for art because he mm -hmm. does art shows and stuff and like oh we're in paris like let's do one in paris and oh we're we'll doing here and like there's people everywhere so yeah. it's just yeah. like that's cool i love it yeah that's great yeah such a good uh i mean just to have you know just this um community yeah you know? to be able to build on that community. yeah yeah, yeah. and it's a inter it's interesting because like he did they didn't want it as a skateboard brand they yeah. just wanted it as more of a community base and then that's from there then they started their skateboards yeah like right? oh we want a team we don't want like i don't know right. we don't want to like turn unity into the skate company but it's still right. kind of a company hmm. under deluxe so but i think more so just like have a bigger distribution and get boards more places and then like also have more boards to give away. Right. So. Right. And, um, so what do you, I mean, listen, I know we got the, uh, little earbuds oh, right yeah. there. Huh? Oh. We got a little collab with uh, skull candy. Yeah. Okay. That was crazy. So, right. Yeah. How did something like that come about? You know, yeah. did you, were you friends with somebody on skull candy or they just hit you up no, randomly? They hit me up randomly on Instagram. It was from the skull candy account. Okay. And I think, um, Lindsay Bull, she's awesome. I think she hit me up on her personal account, but I just didn't see it because there's so many messages. I feel bad if I don't respond to you. I just try to not be on my phone. Trust all day. me, it's yeah. a, it's, yeah. a, it's a, it's a yeah. job in itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then I was like, oh, like we'd love to work with you, and it was really broad. And then they hit me up, and um, they're like, oh, this is what we plan to do for this year, and this is what we'd want you to do. So I, I eventually just got sponsored by them and they're like, Oh, it'd be cool to do like your art on a headphone and yeah. stuff. So it's, wow. it's, it's been cool. Cause like, <laughs> I'm like, try. I love having good headphones. Yeah. They're I don't know that many people with their own headphones. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's pretty amazing. What kind are they? Are like the silent, uh, the, the ones that like block everything out or the ones I did are just like the standard, uh, earbuds. Oh, okay. Just like mm -hmm. the wireless earbuds. The ones I like are though, like noise canceling ones and I have like the crusher. They all have like a funny name, but yeah. it's just like the ones with more bass. Mm. Like I like over the ear headphones more than earbuds. And yeah. I don't listen to music when I skate. I was yeah. just yeah. about to ask that, no. you know, cause it's a, it's weird when I see people with headphones on skating, it's, it's, it's bizarre, yeah. you know, especially at a skate park or something where you really, you kind of have to be in tune with what's yeah, going on I around hear what's you. What's going on? For well, sure. If you're doing skating by yourself, some, I can yeah, understand sure. that. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. For sure. Yeah. But at least now it's like, oh, it, they're kind of hidden, but they're kind of not sometimes. You, you don't know, know if so. someone has headphones that are not sometimes. So yeah, like, exactly. I'll Maybe if I'm rolling around or skating to get somewhere. Right. But um, anyway, I guess that's even dangerous because of cars and stuff. Yeah. But um, at the skate park, I used to get annoyed. I'm like, oh, like this person doesn't know they're cutting people off. And this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're in, in their own, own world. Yeah. 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 You know? exactly. I think it's weird when I see somebody in the grocery store with over the head headphones on. Oh, I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, you're shopping. You really? What are you listening to? I actually used to do that. That was no, really you fun. No, you didn't. Like, you kind of feel like you're in your own world, especially if you grocery shop like really late at night and you have like headphones. But in you're over like, the, like what we're wearing right now? Like yeah. you walk around with the... <laughs> I did for a second. I see people doing that all the time, kind of. It's weird. Yeah. Just like, I mean, no, no, don't bother me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, but... I actually respect that a ton. Yeah. If you weren't like, don't talk to me, I'm doing my own thing. Yeah, for but sure. you, don't need, <laughs> you don't need big headphones on when you're getting your it's Cheerios. It's easy, yeah. But if you really don't want to talk to people, they'll they know. They work. It seems like you want to get your groceries and you want to get out. You know? They're probably not even listening to anything. They're probably just, just like, on. this got so, them I mean, on. Sometimes yeah. you just turn it off just so like, yeah. you can hear what's going I just, on. I too. like to hear my environment. You know, I like to oh, hear right. what's around me. I like Same. to hear what's going on. Especially for skating. Like if you can't yeah. hear your wheels moving and like the grind and stuff like that. I think scary. that's a, I think that's yeah, a, for me, that's a big part of skating is yeah. like hearing the grind, hearing the, the, the spinning of the bearings yeah. and hearing the, the foot hit the board. And yeah. you know what I mean? Like that's a big part of it. The music yeah. is um, for, for me is a distraction. Right. Yeah. I, I love music. I'm, I'm a music lover, but it doesn't help me 
within when I'm trying to film or trying to skate mm. in general. It doesn't, I don't find that yeah, helps same. me. Yeah. Right. I appreciate when someone has a speaker or something when you're yeah. skating. Oh, yeah. 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 All day. I don't know, though. Speaker. We've talked yeah. about this on I'm the show before. We've talked about the speaker thing because, like, the speaker can change the whole vibe of the session, right? For Depending sure. on what music it is. Do you like the music? Do you not like the music? I mean, it can ruin somebody's session. Well, we got to sure. all be in sync. Totally. In sync to a degree. Like, okay. You like, oh, do you like to listen to in sync? Yeah. When you skate? Put that no, on. No, no. Oh, 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 in sync. Oh, I thought you were talking about well, that that'd be different. Yeah. Yeah. Put some credence I'll on, man. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Let's do it. It's yeah. funny when there's two people at a session with different speakers. Like, there's a lot of <laughs> what are the uh, just what do kind of got to battle all the bands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my god. We got to figure this out. You can <laughs> play for like 30 minutes and then I'll play my music. Yeah. 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 Can we like sync it up or something? You know? <laughs> you can like, do that with the beach pills. You, you can. You can sync them. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, that's uh, it. Yeah. So but we're that, talking skull candy here. We are talking yeah. skull candy. Yeah. We are talking skull candy. But uh, congrats on that. That's amazing. So, you know? I mean, why do you, what, what, wait, let's, let's back up here. You got your own headphones. You got your own trucks. Yeah. You're coming out with your own. Well, we don't know about the wheels, but it sounds like <laughs> it. You know? I don't want to say it. Okay. Yeah, they, okay. They haven't told me anything. Okay. So okay. No well, idea. surprises are a big thing in skateboarding. That's yes, true. they are. Yeah. Uh, anything else that we need to know about that you got your I mean it's so cool you know I think that was one of the biggest things I mean especially with like my my parents you know is like having this product with your yeah. name on it you know it's like it's 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 rad you know what's uh it's, was there with that project was there a certain meaning behind the art that you're doing with it or anything like that a little bit I mean they just really wanted my art on a headphone and they're like oh well, why'd you do this and it's kind of just like a character chilling in a living room Mm. And I'm like, that's kind of how I listen to music. So that was kind oh, of. Okay. Is this your character right here? Yeah, I do a lot of people that just kind of look like this. I, I started working at a a copy and print shop like years ago when I wasn't skating, and I was so bored and had so much downtime, and all we had was like paper. So I was just <laughs> cutting up pieces of paper, right. and that's how I eventually did that. And I paint like that too. Oh, really? Nice. What people aren't coming into a copy shop anymore? Is no, that, they uh, they do, okay. but um, luckily my bosses were really cool and. When we didn't have that much to do, we can kind of just fart around. Kind of no, goof off. Cool. Yeah, job, it was a good job. Yeah. yeah. Is that, uh, you, you mentioned you had a job. Um, what, what did you say before you had a job? Coffee. A coffee shop. Oh, yeah. Right? Coffee yeah. shop, paper place. Yep. Any other jobs? Let's see. The big chains I worked at, um, Sam's Club. Oh. Panera. A Panera Bread. Um, bread bowls. Ooh. Oh, bread, bread bowls. bowls. They were free. <laughs> I was living off. You were living off of bread <laughs> yeah. bowls. Would yeah. you eat the whole bread bowl? Or oh, there yeah. comes to a certain point where you're like, okay, enough. I, I was eating just garbage at that point. Okay. It was like living off Panera and Little Caesars. So. Um, oh, pizza, pizza. That's like first moving out kind of thing. Right. Right. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do in those moments. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, a lot of food service stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Is there any job that you liked? That you Copy enjoyed? and print shop was pretty fun. That was pretty good. Yeah. Okay. And I also got to just like scan in my art there and like oh, there learn these programs. Right. Oh, so you were already. Like yeah, there. yeah, for yeah. sure. You were double dipping, so to speak, <laughs> yeah. you know, doing your art and working. Yeah. yeah. Also at the tattoo shop. So like the second time I broke my leg, I just like, I wasn't getting paid for skating or mm -hmm. anything. So I was like, Does anyone know a job I can sit at and work? And um, my friend worked at this tattoo shop, um, Bree and Josh and, they're like, oh, you should come work here and be front desk. And I think they just liked me and wanted to give me a job because literally my job was going there like on crutches and sitting at the front desk and answering the phone if it rang and then talking to walk-ins if they came in. It was basically okay. just telling people no, just like looking at the schedule and was like, oh. No. And it was like some shifts I would answer one phone call for a couple hours and it you was, got paid for it. Yeah, it's pretty Perfect. sick. Yeah, you just got to sit down. Yeah. Are you, are you, are you, are you like tattoos? You got any tattoos? I got like three. Um, three. I, I okay. like them, but not enough to spend all my money on them. I don't, I don't They're expensive. Yeah. Yeah. They're not cheap. Yeah. That's right? for sure. And you, to I'm put tattooed. it on your body, I feel like you, just, you have to be so committed. But some people just, they like the art of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's. I don't have right. any, so I have no well, idea. Well, that's what they say. They say when you get the first one, you, then you just, it's just a snowball yeah. from there. Yeah, luckily, you know? well, I guess not luckily, but that didn't happen to me. I yeah. wasn't like, I need to spend all my money on tattoos now. I mean, if there was an artist I really liked and they wanted to tattoo me, I'd obviously just do it for free. But right. I don't want to just, I don't have the type of money just like, oh, I'm going to drop $500 mm -hmm. on a yeah. tattoo right now. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Is, Is it weird? It's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Is it weird to get your own art tattooed on your own body? A little bit, 
Yeah. I, yeah. I don't. I would just. It depends on the. It. It's like writing your own board, I guess. Yeah. It's. I I've done that's that a more before. That's permanent though. I'm just that's well, yeah. different. Yeah, but have you gotten people gotten your art tattooed on them? Not to my knowledge, no. Mm. Maybe. I'm sure it'll happen. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure it'll happen. I would post it if you did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me know. Yeah, you've ever done that? There you go. I now I follow a lot of tattoo artists that kind of have their own style and stuff, and I'd be more interested if I was getting more tattoos to kind of like, oh, like I want your artwork. Right. Or, you're yeah, I can fan, see that. You're a fan right. of like, their art. Can right. you make Daffy Duck <laughs> eating a Slim Jim? <laughs> yeah. Daffy Duck eating <laughs> you know a Slim Jim. Like, yeah, yeah, that'd be funny. That would be a good one. Yeah. yeah. Daffy that Duck eating a Slim Jim. <laughs> yeah. Get that tattooed on me. <laughs> Someone <laughs> get that tattooed. <laughs> what about, what about Marby? How, uh, nickname, how'd you get the, the name Marby? Well, now it's just my name, but I went by B my whole life. Like, that was just okay. my my nickname or whatever. And yeah. And like, I don't mind if people still call me B. Cause like, I mean, when you transition, you kind of want a name that fits you more that like, you know, might feel more feminine or masculine or something that feels more like you. Mm -hmm. Um, and B was just fine no mm -hmm. matter what. But my friend at the skate park, Laurel, that same friend, we were just joking around and I would call the garbage at the skate park, the Garby. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, and the marble ledge at the skate park, the Marby, and then she just kind of started calling me Marby. Good thing so, she didn't oh, start wow. calling you Garby. Garby. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, it's not as cool, but. Well, I mean, there's the relations with the trash. I named know. after trash. Yeah. I named after a marble ledge. <laughs> yes. That's pretty good. So, yeah. you, any reason why you call the marble ledge Marby? I, don't, I was just being weird, like, yeah. oh, the Garby, or oh, the Marby. Like, and then she just started calling you Marby. Yeah. And you, did you like it at first? Oh, yeah, or I was not? like, oh, oh that's a cool name. I didn't know it was a real name. Uh -huh. I, I Googled it later, and I was like, oh, it's actually like a super rare Filipino name. I had no idea. Oh, interesting. Wow. I didn't know that's what that. I found on Google. Oh, okay. I've never met anyone with the name, no. so I don't know. Marby. Yeah. I like it. I, I think it's great. It's fitting. It yeah. connects to marble a lot too, which is funny. Marble. Yeah. You skate in the marble ledges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it uh, marble? What's your favorite? You know, because mar marble's great, yeah. right? Metal ledges, I'm not, I, I like them. Not the biggest fan though. But even some marble, you know, it's mm -hmm. it's just too much. It's too slick. I don't it's like too. Marble. So you don't like marble? No. I mean, specifically this marble ledge. I hate when ledges are too slippery on yeah, top. Yeah. 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 Oh, and, yeah. Um, I remember one time we were at the skate park and it's mainly used as kind of like a manual pad there. It's not like a super nice manual pad or people grind it. But mm. this one guy was waxing it for lip slides uh -oh. Ooh. and it was like Jesus. a hot day in the summer. Uh, it's just yeah, like someone yeah, yeah. and it, people were like, yo, like, what are you doing? And he got defensive. He's just like, what? And I'm like, mm. I'm like, pretty sure you could just lip slide it without like a ton of wax. Like yeah. also like people manual this thing. Like it's, it's toast. Right. Like if you do that. And then, yeah, I mean, I don't know where I'm going with that story, but I was just like, like, okay, like, can you still manual it? Like, do you want to, like, he was trying to say you could still manual it. And I'm like, you would die. I don't even want to try yeah. to manual it. Hey, try a 180 yeah. switch like, manual. You're, you're going to yeah. Oh, my die. God. Oh, yeah. yeah. 180 yeah. switch <laughs> manual. <laughs> you want to do. Yeah. yeah. Wet on top. You should have had him test it out. I, hey, yeah. I was you trying do a, to, yeah. Why don't you do a 180 switch manual? But. The, the, the lip slide yeah. waxing is a little, you know, it's, if, especially if there's a session going on. Yeah, you gotta be, ask, dude. Come like, on. Oh, is it cool if I do this? But no, yeah, no, yeah. Not right now. <laughs> not right now. Wait, someone yeah, else is trying uh, a trick that'll a, really fuck that up. There's a wax predic or uh, etiquette. Yeah, that for sure. Needs to go down. For sure. You have, you have to ask. I've I've been on a session with even like one of my friends. Shag, shout out, because uh, he loves this show. It's hey, like, what's up, Shag? Uh, what up? He manifested this. He's like, you're going to be on there someday. I'm like, <laughs> he called it, Shag. Yeah. 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 Shag actually wrote me a really nice letter to get you yeah. on. Yeah. 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 Oh, like, yeah. Okay, I wouldn't Shag. be surprised. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but we were both skating this marble edge, and I landed a trick I was filming, but I was trying another trick. And then um, and we we're doing like both doing like a no slide variation. And then he started waxing it a uh, ton. Uh, and then I was, I just, I, was, I don't know. I was like, come on, dude. And he had no, he was like, what? And I'm like, 
like, come on. But didn't even do, like realize. But see, that's right. when you'd have the. Yeah. Yeah. That's you thought it would just be okay. Yeah, I'm like, it's already slippery. Like, yeah. what but see, doing? that's when you have the chip in your pocket. Yeah. And you wax the, your little nose yeah. or whatever. And, I you like know, waxing yeah. the board. That's that, that's the, the best. There's yeah. your little extra like sliding, you know, for right. you specifically. Don't yeah. fuck this shit up. It's, it's working fine for me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, and it works. That same ledge that the person was waxing at the skate park um, for lip slides or whatever, I eventually died on it trying to 5 it like it was like eight in the morning summer like super hot just trying to skate before it gets even hotter yeah i was wearing shorts too and i was talking to my friend about going wheels over the top and the next thing i did oh. i just like 5 would and like backwards like lawn chair and just like hurt my back for a couple of days yeah like went home and immediately got in the bathtub at like 9 a.m. Oh, it's like, so oh. funny to me because like I'm not when I you know even when you 50 50 a ledge or something but you miss oh, you know yeah. and you're riding on top of it I'm like how long I've been doing this yeah. I, I've been I've been skating my whole life mm. and I still can't <laughs> get on that 50 yeah. 50 grind like yeah. first try yeah. but even though you know you can on? still 50 50 you're like that could still happen yeah. oh yeah you still think about that oh yeah. yeah your body and everything has to be in tune ready to do everything precisely you know yeah. and sometimes yeah. your body's like your mind's fucking there but your body's like what the fuck are you doing you're trying for to for sure yeah. dude and you I, get yeah. broke yeah. i was skating a marble ledge off a of two stair in arizona on an lrg trip and billy marks was there and billy marks i don't know if you guys know this but he yeah. likes Especially me, he likes to fuck with me a bunch, especially when we're on trips. And I was waiting in the back to go try my trick, and he goes up and he waxes the shit out of it without me looking. Nah. And Tyrone and Kyle were like, yo, what are you doing? You fucking, why are you fucking with him like that? And I didn't even see it. Uh -oh. I did it, nollie flip, varial, nollie varial flip front nose, landed it perfect. He knew you needed the wax. Like, no, but he did it to fuck with me. Right. Yeah. Like he wow. overcoated it and I did it, and then he was like, was see? He Oh, he tried to be like, you land <laughs> yeah, that because see? of me. And, and he's like, no, I tried to fuck with you. but you Meanwhile, we're trying to sabotage yeah. me. Shit. Wow. And sometimes it works out. Yeah. And sometimes in your head, too. If you're thinking about the wax too much and you just go for it, I don't know. Listen, everybody out there, just have a little wax etiquette. Ask around, <laughs> <Yeah>. okay? <laughs> That's the moral of the story here. No doubt. Uh, favorite tricks? That you Favorite did you do? Trick. I mean, I know the one trick that I really like is the is the butt slide yeah. down the hubbas and stuff. Yeah. Like to me, I've never done it, but it looks fun. Yeah, it looks oh. like super fun. It's it is a lot of fun. It's it's really easy mm -hmm. for me, so it's and relatively safe. But it looks scary at the same time. Yeah. Like, and I got to jump out into this thing and land on land, your butt. Right. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. If it's too low, you just it really hurts. Like yeah. you just jump down. Does it burn right. your ass at all? Uh, it has, yeah. <laughs> I was wearing. Do you this. wax it on the top? <laughs> no, like, no, 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 no. It has to just be smooth concrete, oh, oh, okay, or okay, else okay. it's not gonna work. Truck but I was wearing yeah. like a short, like romper thing at the skate park one day. I wasn't trying to skate, and then I was just cruising around. And went to do it down the hubba, and just like full butt cheek, like skin against oh, concrete, sliding noise, no. and just like I had to buy like a huge band aid, like, just because I wasn't even thinking. But, yeah, this is gonna work out. We yeah. We're talking. E -e 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 yeah, it was like all the way down. Oh no! Your nails on the. It's like nails on the chalkboard. Yeah. Oh jeez. Um, but yeah, I started doing them because uh, my friend growing up, Mitch, was doing them, and then I learned it, and it was like easy to do a lot. And then when I got back into skating, it was like, oh, like you don't really have to ollie that high, and you can just kind of push your board away, and you're sitting down. You are sitting right. Yeah, I right. mean, there's ways it can go bad. Where I get scared when the ledge is too narrow or there's a really big drop on the other side because mm. you could just like slip off like this yeah. well i mean uh the the most recent one was clipper yeah oh yeah yeah so i mean oh that, my god that was so i was so scared the first time i skated that that it was funny but i think what, it's what, big it seems intimidating yeah yeah, sure. yeah. what was so scary about it though what uh, i went there um i had already filmed that like part and then i wanted to butt slide and like oh that could be an ender since you're here and stuff mm -hmm. um I went there with uh, Chandler and a few other people, and um, I remember looking at it, saying I was going to do it, and then getting there, like, kind of shaking, like, I don't really want to do this. <laughs> Chandler Everyone, Burton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chandler Burton. Love him. Skated with him yesterday. Anyways. He's great. Um, there was a piece of wood there to roll down the first set of stairs, and I was trying to, like, make it as safe as possible. I put the wood next to the stairs in case I fell back onto the stairs. Or, like, and I asked Chandler if he could stand on the other side of the hubba in case I, like, fell off the side. What, to and catch he you? Was, like, that was his reaction. He was like, what am I going to catch you? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And I, um, 
I remember like Jeff, Jeffrey Chung, he was filming and he, I was, I looked at him like, all right, like, even if I like get hurt, everything's going to be fine. Right. And it was like the weirdest question to ask. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I gave it one and I got really close and uh-huh. then I was like, oh, okay, it's not that bad. And Chandler's like, I'm moving this piece of wood. Like you don't need me on this way. Right. Of, uh, kind of thing. And then it, it eventually just worked out and I went back to go get a photo of it and i was accidentally locking into like a layback hurricane on it oh because wow. it's so round yeah and, yeah and then i was like oh i should just try to do this and then it was funny because um sam mcguire was in town um and he came with us he's like oh zero sundays huh like everyone's trying to get like an ender today and then uh we got zero there and, like, a couple sundays. of his, a couple <laughs> okay. of people that were for zero were there and it was like oh shit now it is zero zero sunday so, yeah um, I remember yeah. hearing that term. Who is it? Nick Trapasso would say that? Or? Yeah, where you'd watch like zero videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never heard that term. That's yeah. amazing. I love it. I love it. Um, but also, uh, David Reyes was there like trying to Trey Flip nose blunt it. Oh, he went? And I, was wa- he, I wasn't there for when he oh, landed okay. it. He, I think he went back there a couple times. But it was just like very intense. I was like, I'm just sliding down my butt and people are Trey Flip nose blunting this. And, but they were all like super cool and hyping it up. And then... Um, yeah, I remember I was like, oh, this one's for Marissa Del Santo because she's like one of my favorite skaters. Zero thing. And I landed that one. And I was like, I don't oh, know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pumped, for sure. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I already did just butt slid as my ender. And I did a layback hurricane. It's pretty much the same trick. But I can't put this like as an ender. So I thought it'd be a fun like intro to like my next part to kind of like top the ender at the same time. Sure, mm-hmm. sure, sure. I saw oh, Marissa. She was in someone's Instagram story the other day. I heard that. Someone else said that. Like, oh, yeah, I saw a photo it, of her. It might have been in the America trip or something. I can't oh, remember wow. what it was. But she was there and I was like, dude. Yeah. When she, when she was, what video was it? Was it Strange World? Yeah. That one, was she, part. that part is amazing. I go back and watch that all the time. You catch yeah. like little things it's like, I don't know. There was the extra footage version and I remember she was kickflip stale fishing this like bump over flat thing, like with a wrist brace on and like a cigarette in her mouth. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and like doing 50, 50 cannonball grabs down handrails. I'm like. I don't know. Is like, she where is she live in New Mexico or I somewhere? Think Colorado. Uh, Colorado, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I've never yeah. talked to her or anything, but shout out. She's one of your yeah. favorite skaters. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. That part got me so pumped. Any other favorite skaters? How about right now? Is there anybody like up and coming that you are <sighs> it's gonna be so hard, I'm just gonna I miss it. No, I, I um, know. It's a weird question, but I got a yeah. list. I mean, you got a list. No, no break no, the no, list no. out. <laughs> um up and coming. I mean, mainly just all my friends. I was about to say, sometimes yeah. in your group, yeah, there's the like a, sure. yeah, in the circle. My yeah. friend Trish that skates for glue, mm-hmm. she's like one of my best friends. And it's like so fun to like see her getting better and better. And like, I don't know, just seeing your friends progress is like so sick. I it's love like, it. Damn, you just learned yeah. a new trick. Like, yeah. oh. Yeah. It motivates you. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It keeps yeah. you yeah. all like in sync and again in sync. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you love it. I told you it was the best word yeah. right now. LimeWire and uh, Lotta Down. Yeah, Lime sync on LimeWire. <laughs> no, but it gets you motivated, you know? Mm. I, and I had my group of friends that we had all like, if somebody got something, I'm like, damn, he got something today. Mm. I gotta get something, you know? Yeah. But yeah. in the, in a, the, Not like the purest way. It's a healthy competition. Of course. Yeah. Right. And that's the best part. I mean, like skating hands down for me is like friends and traveling. Mm-hmm. That is the biggest. I never, I, I say it all the time. I probably would have never left the United States if it wasn't for skateboarding. Oh, same. I've I traveled never, around the yeah. world and it's, right. it's insane to me that I've been to like China and Australia and all these places mm-hmm. You're all around Europe. It's, it's just, it's phenomenal. Yeah. And when you go to those places too, it's like you're, it's like, it's the weirdest thing because like you're almost, you're traveling, but you're almost at home because you're with skaters oh, yeah. that are very like, you know, like, hey, come on mm-hmm. and come to the best restaurants that we go to mm-hmm. or the bars that we go to and you get the inside. Yeah. You're not like a tourist yeah, is what I'm trying to it's say. It's interesting. It doesn't ever feel like super foreign because you're not doing all the touristy stuff. You're it, like. I'm getting a sandwich and skating a ledge. Right. <laughs> but yeah. I'm in Spain or yeah. in France. Yeah. I'm yeah. Have you been and traveling? And the locals are telling me where to go. Oh, you should go check this exactly. place. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm drinking a damn limon uh, in a boca <laughs> There you go. Yeah. There you go. Have you been traveling a bunch uh, lately? Um, I just got back from Copenhagen. 
Oh, how was that? That I, was really cool. I'm so jealous because I've never been to Copenhagen man. before. Yeah. Uh, I actually, the contest. I actually think me, Chris, and Jeron and Roger were the only ones that didn't go to Copenhagen. I know. Oh yeah. yeah <laughs> <they were> the, <laughs> every skate spot like was open. Yeah. Anyway. There was like no skaters <laughs> anywhere yeah. in LA. It it like everybody town. was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. that's definitely what it felt like there too. And it's like not a huge city. Mm-hmm. Um, it's convenient because everybody there like speaks English fluently. So mm. like, I didn't feel like I was in like France where like oh. Sorry, like this one. Yeah, yeah you don't yeah, really have yeah, to do yeah. any of that. Yeah, that, was, that comfort is so like uh, so worthy. You know yeah. what I mean? And just to riding bikes, I'm sure you had a bike. Oh around. yeah, that's yeah. like what you do. It was super bike friendly. We didn't take any like taxis or anything. All the skate spots are like kind of built for skating, so it's like that rule of where like oh, you don't film at a skate park. I'm like, well, none of these spots are really skate spots because it's like the city wants you to skate it. Right. It's confusing. Is that that's so, that's so rad? Though. Yeah, rad. it's like every like ledges have angle iron on it and you're like does this count is this like, yeah yeah, yeah. Film here <laughs> like, it does it yeah works, yeah, yeah i'm like sure. whatever yeah <laughs> i'll take it i'm yeah. so jealous I, i've always wanted to go to one of those but it just looks like the best time yeah. ever it was definitely sick just seeing like every pro skateboarder kind of randomly yeah um, yeah you know? and you got footage out there did you yeah. go film and stuff we were filming we stuck around a little longer some of us broke off to berlin Ooh. i stayed with a smaller crew and went to malmo okay just because um we wanted to film another like euro, euro tour video for there because we did that like right before COVID happened oh, we made okay. like a 20 minute tour video i don't think it'll be that long again mm. but just to like stick around and film so Sick. yeah it was really fun that. where was the first place that you ever went out of the country um, first place Milan. Good well, I went to. I've been to Mexico before when I was like a okay, kid and stuff. but yeah, I it's mean, like for landlocked. skating, like flying over, right? Uh, like overseas, yeah. fourteen hour, ten hour flight. Yeah, uh, in Milan those, in those cathedrals there. Oh my just, god, the, it's the architecture. Is yeah, insane. you're definitely well, stepping into another world. Yeah, Milan yeah. was sick because you just stop in, like oh, coffee and a pastry, or like oh, you get a piece of pizza and beer, and like you kind of just do that all day, just like mm-hmm. little bits of food and skate around like on tons of marble and do you skate stuff. the train station oh yeah yeah wow so nice so, uh, i've never been there yeah. looks cool you've and never I been s- to the train never been to milan it is looks a cool. good and spot I saw, um, what's his name is it jacopo or Jacopo? yeah oh yeah Jacopo. he was he was skating there while we were there so it was like cool to see him skate that that's in real life just, that dude yeah. is insane so <laughs> yeah. it's cool to see that right yeah it's yeah. like oh a local dude that what just do you know run shit you're like okay i see yeah. How you get down here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's amazing. I think traveling is one of the biggest perks of skateboarding. I mean, just to be able to go around and see the world and different cultures. And like I was saying before, it's like you get immersed into the city, you know, mm-hmm. as not a tourist. I think I went to France, Paris so many different times and never went to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, there, or you can there see it, it is. Double like, set. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But um, I've seen it. It's there, yeah. Yeah. and it's so. I mean, that's what that's a beautiful thing about skating is just like the 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 camaraderie and the you know you you could go alone to some foreign country and find somebody that skates and they'll they'll take care of you for, for sure. Them, like, you oh, know, hey, like where should I go? Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't even matter if you're pro or am yeah. or it's just it's just a skateboarder for sure, yeah. and that's what's awesome. Yeah. You know, dude, I I always tripped out that like skate tourism for me is like been the most realist thing because I like if I went to Paris. Mm-hmm. When I was 21, mm-hmm. I wouldn't even care about going to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, right. I was like, oh, the La Dome, let's go there. Mm-hmm. Like, you can see it from whatever. Uh, <laughs> but that's growing up as a skater, that's what we looked forward to is like yeah, going to those spots. Yeah. But it yeah. sucks because um, for a while I was taking trips like um, for granted just because I was living in Wisconsin, so I couldn't really film there. So it was like when you're on a trip, like you have two trips and you got to film the video part. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's just like, just super stressed out the whole time. Like I need clips. Yeah. And now that I can film at home, it's it's not as bad. So yeah. It's like, makes it a little more. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, sometimes I always feel like, because when you're at home, you're kind of in your comfort zone, For sure. right? And it's kind of like, it's not difficult, but it's it's easier when you're going on a tour, right? Because you're going to new spots and stuff you've never seen before, and you can maybe have a tour guide or something, and it's yeah, it's a lot easier. It's definitely more motivating. It's like, more motivating, and you don't have escape. the comforts mm-hmm. like you're saying. You don't get to go home and watch your shows, or go, right? You know, you. you I can't there dip. The purpose of you being there is to get shit done. Yeah. I can't dip out early if I'm not feeling it and go <laughs> home. <laughs> exactly. Go Are, to Wendy's and get a square hamburger. Are you a type of <laughs> skateboarder that when you're filming, do you just go out and skate or do you plan stuff out? Like, oh, I got this. I want to get this clip at this spot. Um, I do a little bit of planning. I I try to skate other stuff that people are skating, which like can 
really sucks sometimes because you're like, I don't skate this. But this is the only spot we're going to today. I need to get a clip. Yeah. Like, why am I trying to skate this? I can't. I don't skate like this. But now, like, I'll have a trick in mind more so than the spot. Oh, uh, okay. Finding the spot's a little harder. Yeah. Um, be like, oh, like, I really want to do this on something. It'd be nice. Especially if you're making a part and you're, like, over halfway. You're kind of, like, running out of trick ideas. You're like, I can't do this. I already have that. Yeah. Or I got like, too many of these yeah. and I maybe yeah. s- spice it up a little bit with something else. For sure. Yeah. I always feel bad because I do so many no slides and crooks and I'm like, I'm, but I love Shane Hale. Like, <laughs> yeah. So. Shout out Shane yeah. Hale. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Major shout out. Oh, yeah. I got, I, I met him once and I was like, oh yeah. He's the best. Fellow man. no slider. He's the Great best. Energy, man. Talk yeah. about it. Yeah. Talk about a hype man. Straight. For you sure. You have him on the session. You are, you're going to do something. Yes. Yeah. He's yeah. exactly who you think he is, which was fun to see exactly right. yeah. yeah it's not no like bullshit facade like that's him mm-hmm. it's, it's it's awesome to see because it definitely it resonates on screen but then when you see it in real life it's like that's who he is yeah, yeah. same totally. with beagle like him and beagle are together so it's like oh I can oh see yeah that that, sure. it's so fun. those <laughs> two with the vx shit. too oh my god yeah. those two oh together gosh. is just insane yeah yeah best. i never beagle is one of those guys where you know you watch these baker videos and you see like how like, how does Beagle get this footage, you know? Like, because he's so just so old. random stuff. And then I skated with him one time, and he was just filming. I'm like, that's, that's how he it. gets it's it. Constant. He just, oh, constant. Yeah. He sees well, stuff he, that nobody else sees. And he films a lot of skating himself, too, which is yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, nice to see um, people behind the camera get clips, too. Yeah. I, I was talking to Tim about that today. I was like, oh, like, do you film and stuff? And, like, I, I love seeing when, like, a filmer just, like, come up with a part or like post yeah. a clip online. It's like, they skate too. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, like, for sure. For sure. Really I always feel bad sometimes. Cause like they're oh, skating yeah. and like you want to film and you're like, Hey, just, uh, I know you're skating right now, but like, I want to get this yeah. trick, yeah. you know, I definitely do it. With my friend Ray, I'm like, God, like, Seems like they're having fun right now. Like yeah. maybe I should wait a little bit. If they're a filmer though, and they're seeing the vibe kind of start yeah. to come to life. They, they know. Sure. They know. Yeah. They usually, yeah. 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 They usually they're stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. What what do we what do we got going on? I know you got the I know you got the Spitfire part. Yeah. But I know you you I mean you got the the skull candy in there. I mean, do you see anything in the? Are you just taking it day by day, or are you, are you do you have like goals or anything that you really like want? You know, like as a skateboarder. I, I've been taking it day by day for sure. But yeah. I, I have like I have like the Spitfire part yeah. and the tour video and I wanna do like another there part eventually and So we're just focusing on skating yeah, and, and putting I've, out parts. For sure. And I have yeah. a I have an art show oh. um Saturday, which is nice. crazy. Yeah. We're oh, down really? here or in San Francisco. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm an artist. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I draw this one stick figure. Mm-hmm. That's all I can draw. That's it's okay. Same... I mean, I do the same person yeah. every time. So we can relate. It's yeah. just, a, it's a guy has got curly hair. Mm-hmm. He has these arms that do this and yeah, that's okay. it. There we go. I haven't really gotten to the art show point yet, but uh, hopefully one yeah, day. Yeah, you, you'll get there. Yeah, you yeah. think? Put in the work. Okay. Yeah, yeah you got to put the work in, put Chris. The work in. Yeah, <laughs> that's where you're not really. I could draw a, thou- <laughs> I could draw a thousand of them. It's really, it's like really standards easy. and shit. Like, yeah. I could draw a thousand. <laughs> now when you have an art show are you I, I, I'm not a, I say I don't know I'm an artist but I'm not are you nervous to me that's like more intimate almost than like putting out a skateboard part for sure because it's more of yourself in that you know what I mean yeah I think I'm less nervous now just because I have to do a ton of stuff that makes you nervous already like with skating and you know, you go to your comfort zone more, and yeah. then art people kind of know what to expect. It's not like, oh well, like out of random, like oh you make art. Like some people already know what it looks like, and mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. it's definitely kind of nervous because I stopped trying to do like art shows and do that as like a a profession or anything a long okay. time ago, and now it's kind of working out. So it's, oh. it's definitely weird. Um, but even putting a price on something, oh, like I, how do you, I let them handle that, like galleries Who's, and stuff. Oh, oh, okay. I ask Jeff sometimes cause Jeffrey, um, is like a pretty famous artist and mm-hmm. that's a lot of people just know him for his art and don't even know he skates. So, oh wow. also he rips. I love Jeffrey. I feel like he's like super underrated skater. When I first met him, I didn't even know that he skated like that, but like in the video, he did like a switch backside flip 50 on like a oh, super long. That's him. Oh, it goes out and yeah. down. I was tripping yeah. on that clip. Yeah. That was amazing. I dude. just love that. He just like made this stuff and then it's like, I need to push myself too. Like, yeah. And 
Yeah. That was an awesome clip. That was, I was like, how? That, I've never seen anyone do that trick. Yeah. He did two of them in his part. There's two yeah. switchbacks at foot oh, yeah, 50s. That's, right. that's, like, that's the weirdest a... trick yeah. to do, for yeah. sure. Just to Talk have... about slipping out yeah. <laughs> if you miss. Well, he had it. It was like a, there, was there, there a, was wall, a wall? But that's, still, yeah. to hold it that long, because mm. usually your body would just keep turning on yeah. something like that. Oh, you know? for sure. To keep yeah. it like le- straight yeah. and level, yeah. The that wall definitely helps, but it's it's kind of hectic because the street's really busy and you have to have someone there. That's always something I hate doing is standing in the street for somebody. I feel so responsible. It's it's a lot. It is a lot of responsibility. We see videos where like, spotter? What happened right what there? Spotter? Where's the spotter? Yeah. Yeah. So you let the you let them kind of uh, yeah. come up with the prices. I don't and know stuff. the art market. Like I used to just give my art to my friends. Yeah. Or like oh, I guess you can give me twenty bucks or something. Okay. But then the art world's it's way com- different. It's yeah. so bizarre. Yeah. It's How do you so go bizarre. about like putting an art like like show together? Luckily, I I make art just kind of for fun, and then. Um, sometimes they found me. I wasn't like trying to get a show mm-hmm. oh, okay. done or anything. And they're like, Oh, do you want to do a solo show? And then do they like ask you, do they tell you how many pieces they want for the show? Or they give you like a ballpark a... of okay. like, they show you the space and like ask what you want to do with it. And what, what's, what's a sh- art show on Saturday consist of like how many pieces? It's like 18 to 20 or something. Okay. But I, I have like, all my collages are relatively small because I don't like working really big with paper, but mm. I like bigger paintings. Like they got me to get into painting again because like, oh, we'd love to have bigger stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, so they will tell you like, hey, if you make a 18 by whatever. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Because all my other stuff was just like letter sized, like mm. paper size. Like kind of like this paper. one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So but, you're, you're, all your art is the same character, but like in different like positions is that yeah okay yeah Different it's situation it's yeah, yeah kind of a reflection of me a little bit because they're always kind of by themselves and there's i don't know weird meaning in it i just like exploring like different form and like uh what's the word i don't know why i can't think of this word i guess like your body position and like mm-hmm. kind of just seeing how you can make different people and then having a formula is really nice to like oh this is kind of how i make hands this is kind of how i do this and you just yeah. kind of play around with it. And then some of my pieces like have like super deeper meanings and some of them just, mm-hmm. I'm just making cause I think they look cool. I like so. that one. I mean, it's all four fingers though. You know that I know I only yeah. do four. You fingers. only do four. Oh. Yeah. And they're long too. Sometimes they're long fingers. Yeah. Uh, this one was from, um, I made a design for crux and I, I had people spell out crux and that was the R that's the R. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Amazing. So do you like outline it first and then cut it or how does that work? Um, no, I just kind of start with the, the pants <laughs> for some reason. I'll like start making pants and then I'll, like, you straight start to start them. cutting pants. Sometimes, and sometimes I'll draw kind of like new ideas first, mm. but you, if I'm just thinking around, I'll just start with making pants. So you just start do, 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 yeah. and then it like, just comes out like that perfect. That's pretty pretty damn good uh, thanks yeah <laughs> she's it's an like, artist yeah i, mean, I know but on. it's like i trip out like when i okay when i draw anything like i can never make like a straight line oh, you, you know yeah. what i mean like when people do stuff in with the art and they can just be like draw something or cut something so straight right. and not be all jiggity or whatever well, they could know. say something same thing about your kickflip oh well, yeah for sure like yeah i don't know you, know you I mean. practice <laughs> you practice yeah. Yeah. yeah but it's like it's just I don't know art like that. If Unlike practice, Chris, just, Chris knows it really well, but like I've you done know. thousands. You got of a lot of straight <laughs> yes. lines. I got a lot of straight lines. <laughs> Kelly, it's just about practicing, dude. You practice that straight line, you're gonna be doing straight lines all over the place. There you well, go. I just cutting like that is pretty uh, amazing. So oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just use. If you could, if you could just like to start cutting, could you cut us out into a character? Probably. Yeah. yeah. I kind of do the same hairstyle every time, so I'd have to experiment a little bit, but. Just they, a hat they, on they don't really have faces. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's like, it would, so that could be, be Kelly right there. Yeah. It could be Kelly yeah. with a yeah. really nice <laughs> green hair. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't I don't have green hair right now. Nor is it long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, you you kind of have the same fingers though. Okay. Yeah, you got yeah. four fingers. Yeah. yeah they and they're long. Got Nobody my, knows that about Kelly. You make one with uh, don't like a no, 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 don't look at the, don't look directly into the thumb. Don't look directly into the thumb. That might be the flattest one I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty good. So he goes like that, and boom. Oh, you're like double jointed. Double jointed. Right? Mm. Yeah, that's pretty special. Right that there. is special. It's I sweet. actually saw someone doing that like two days ago. It's interesting that when things like that pop up a lot. Yeah, thumbs. I'm pretty good at thumb wrestling, you know? <laughs> yeah, you have you have 
I got a little advantage. advantage. And you can kind of dodge the other foot yeah, 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 yeah. easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try not. I try not to look at it. <laughs> I've scared some people. Freaks me with out. Yeah. My nieces, when I first showed them, they screamed like out loud at a at a restaurant. I'm sure you could fall on the ground and then pretend like you're. <laughs> if someone didn't know that about your thumb, I my thumb, do that. my thumb. No. Yeah. I'm like yeah, that was awesome. Mm. And then I fall. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> Anyways, I, no, I wouldn't look at it. <laughs> uh, so we got the Spitfire part coming mm-hmm. out, and when when did you say that's coming out? In like a month or two? I think they want to premiere it in September. For Is that going to be of Fortune? A, oh, that's Wheels of Fortune, but it's going to be on Thrasher as well. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And know, you're having I'm pretty sure. And you and your friend's band is going to be the the music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. I, I mean, it's easier awesome. for music clearance too, but yeah. it's fun to skate to your friends. Totally. So. Totally. Now, but you said you hadn't even like gotten anything on the timeline yet. So you're just, you just have tricks. Oh no, I, I have a timeline. Oh, you do? I, okay. It's just like, I'm a little over halfway and I haven't added all the clips there and there's no B roll yet and there's no like intro and stuff. So I'm like, I have more than I think, but I can't see. It are all. you putting, yeah. are you editing this video yourself or you uh, just have a timeline of your clips? My friend Ray is. Okay. Um, we'll go back and forth and oh, okay. luckily they like, don't care if I'm like, Oh, can this be like this? And right. Yeah. I think it's important sometimes to have, um, you know, ownership of, of how you, how you envision your part. For sure, you know what yeah. I mean? Like there's been parts where I come out where I'm like, Oh, I would have loved that trick in slow-mo or not in slow-mo or, you know what I mean? Like just because it's your own personal, you know, thing yeah. that, you, that you, even sometimes filming, like I'll be like, Oh, I wish they filmed it from here instead of over here. Oh, you know? Uh, and yeah, my friend's good about that too. I'm like, Oh, could you film it over here? I'm not going to roll away super fast. So maybe oh, yeah, don't yeah, be like yeah. close to me. Just kind of mm, right. right. Like, yeah, that that's always super important. And, who did the there video? Uh, Leo Benuelos. Okay. He also had a part in it. He rides for mm-hmm. there. He edited it, and then Ray filmed like the bulk of it. Mm-hmm. And you said that they, you guys are you did a um, a Euro trip. Yeah, we did like the first thing we ever filmed was like the Euro tour. Okay. We got kind of like a random trip through. Um, God, I feel bad. Was it? Uh, oh, I feel bad. I can't remember the name of the company. I think it might have been like. Brain Dead and Slam Jam there and Nike was putting money into it and they wanted us to come do something for okay. that. So like they were helping people get flights and then it just oh, turned sick. into our own trip. Yeah, Brain Dead's a big company. Yeah. yeah. It was it was cool. We did like a just like a photo shoot and stuff mm-hmm. with them, but then we just stuck around for two weeks filming. I love it. It was that. like an excuse to get over there and Yeah. I mean, I mean, it was ex- cool too. Extend the trip. Yeah. Hell of an excuse. I love it. Mm-hmm. You know. And um Nike? Um yeah, I'm not on Nike. I got flow shoes a, for like you got Adidas on right years. now. You got Adidas. Yeah, yeah. going yeah. from Nike to Adidas. Okay. Oh yeah, they they, they don't like each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just getting flowed. So okay. I'm, I'm not. But too. you were on. You were, you were getting Nikes for a while though. Yeah, for like two years. Two years. Okay. Yeah. And then what? You just wanted to switch it up? Or yeah. I just... I kind of just wanted to feel like I was a part of something mm. a little more. Okay. Because I I was getting shoes and stuff, and then my contact there was like down for me and like tried to get me higher but they're also mm. doing tons of cuts or something and okay. yeah. they didn't even want to like pay help me with like a plane ticket and so I'm like, uh. oh. and i had money at the time so i was like i didn't like have to like sell my shoes or anything i'm like i might as well just skate something uh, like yeah more and i would just that's all i really care with like a shoe thing like obviously like the money is sick and like definitely helps you because that's what you make the most money doing but like for sure it's nice when you feel like you're a part of something yeah. like they at least want a clip of you or like right yeah something they're like, like requesting something yeah or like yeah for sure i mean that's a big part of it you know it's like it, it, i don't know man skating is so um i don't know the word for it it's just sometimes it could be like you don't feel like you're a part of something yeah you know and th- th- that's just you, I mean, I grew up wanting to be a part of like girl and chocolate, mm-hmm. you know, I wanted to be that, that I had my eye on the prize. Like I could have tried to go somewhere else, but I wanted that, you know? Yeah. And, uh, thankfully they wanted it worked me. out <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know pretty well. Mm-hmm. Got the old dub stamp of approval. I think there you go. Stamped what, a mm-hmm. what, a what sh- shoe preference do you like cup sole or vulcanized or like, is there a certain That's shoe style like you worst like? Worst person. I don't even really know what that means well it's just like a the type of soul that you like I, yeah. but like what what shoes are you skating right now i don't even know the name jesse van 
who's awesome, just flowed me these. I think they're they look uh, like they might vulcanized. be vulcanized. Yeah. 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 yeah, they're canvas. Not like my first choice. Yeah, mm-hmm. they skate good and. You know what's I think Cupsole is probably better, in my opinion. It's more support to mm. yeah. for a but you know what's good with the canvas on the vulcanized? I feel like the vulcanized and the canvas work good together. Yeah, they grip they wise. Loosen up and yeah, they loosen up, but like in a cup sole on canvas, it's it loses the flick right away. Yeah. Right? I've just noticed that just working for a shoe brand. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. But they look clean. Yeah, no. They, well, they're dirty right now, but they look good. I skate. love a dirty white yeah. shoe. <laughs> I don't know if like companies want to advertise like that, but like, like dirty white shoes look so good. Like sometimes yeah. a bright white shoe is like too much. When it's, too, when it's really clean, it's kind of respectable though. Yeah. When you're like, well, like that looked really fresh, but I like a really fucked up shoes. Yeah. I'm starting to see that like in high fashion, they're selling like shoes now and they look, they look fucking <laughs> just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, they're on their those, last. Those are $700. They'll, they look fucking crazy. Yeah. We just saw a shoe of Balenciaga or yeah. something. They was, the shoes wouldn't even stay on the person's feet. They were so torn up. Crazy. Yeah. High it was fashion insane. It's a little, little funny. It's yeah. crazy. I saw uh, like a shirt that was like a broken skateboard on the shirt. Oh, we yeah, saw. Oh, yeah. Trust yeah. me, we saw yeah. that. That went around. Oh, that's yeah, funny. Yeah. actually, yeah. like that yeah. Uh, we talked about it on the show. I asked. I said it. Listen, a designer, you want to send me one? I'll wear it on the show. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Well, I mean, like, how much would it cost? I mean, because this was, we were talking about it on the Experience Show. We were just like, how much would it take for you to walk the runway with that shirt on? Hmm. I said I'll do it for like a thousand bucks. I think you said two thousand. Yeah. Two thousand. Yeah, I think yeah. two thousand would be my number two. It's like it's <laughs> right. I'm not. I need money, but I don't want like a weird attention if I'm not getting paid decent. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, because it's one thing if you're walking in a fashion show, yeah. then just sitting here with broken shirts yeah. on a skateboard. Yeah, for know, sure, you know, broken. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, two thousand. I think it's a good thousand. price. Yeah, if anybody wants me to walk the runway, <laughs> yeah, in a what's a, a broken <laughs> skateboard shirt? <laughs> well, because we were wondering like how much these people get paid for doing yeah. that. Yeah, I don't know. I have a couple friends that model, and I don't really know. I feel like some people don't make that much money, and some people make a lot of money. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. levels yeah. to it, no doubt. I mean, it's yeah. skating too. Like a lot same of people thing. don't make a lot of money, and then there's a few people who make a ton right. of money. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's our our art world. Same thing. Yeah. 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 Your agency's got a hold of how much you're gonna for get, get sure. Paid, you know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's interesting. Well, is there anything else that we need to touch on? Anything that you got coming out that we we should know about? Oh, I mean, we um, know the Spitfire part. We got the the the, the tour. Uh, I did a a tour recently that the video's not out for too. I forgot about. It was the the Roto tour for like NHS women's team. Okay. Yeah, we went to um, Seattle and uh, Portland. Oh wow! It was really oh, wow. sick. Yeah. yeah. You ever been there? Um, I'd been to Seattle once, mm-hmm. um, but it wasn't to, like street skate. Really. Okay. So it was sick cause, uh, Kristen Epling was there the whole time and she like knows every spot and grew up there. So it's like, it was very structured. Like, Oh, we got a whole spot book. Oh, oh wow. it's raining on this side of town. We got three spots in this side of town. Yeah. I was about to say the weather can be very yeah. unpredictable there. Um, it was really fun though. Like getting to skate with like a lot of people I'd only skated with a few times mm-hmm. or like, like Nora and Fabi and Breezy and. Oh, they're great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's more people there. I can't think of off the top of my head right now. But, <laughs> you're good. You're good. Um, yeah. Oh, it's sick to meet like um, Ministess and uh, Poe Pinson. Because like mm-hmm. in, in my brain, I just like, oh, like, yeah, like they're kids that skate competitions and sick, but it was so cool to like see them like skate street and like want to do that. And yeah. Just like they're so good. And it's like, crazy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stay and so is that video coming out soon? I Do think it's going to come out in the next month or so. Next month or so. Yeah. So you got a lot of stuff lined up. Yeah. You're working. Big Thanks. Time. I mean, that's the only thing I really want to do is just like film parts. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I think it's important, you know, and I still trip, I, I still trip out that, I mean, this is just the world we live in, but you got all this off of Instagram. Yeah. Like sponsored pro earbuds i mean you never know totally. who's out there w- looking at that uh, can stumble across your page mm-hmm. and everything can change it's surreal yeah, it's crazy know, it's it's hard to have words for because it's like yeah it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> i never expected yeah. any of this and i'm when did the followers start really like did you start seeing like oh shit like what 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 did i what did i just do I'm, yeah. something's happening here i feel like i had like two thousand a couple years ago and Damn. then you got like 160,000 like, now. Lot. 
Um, yeah, or some. I think it's like a hundred twenty something. It's still up there. It, so in a matter it, of two years, that's how fast. It's yeah, happened. it just wow. like it snowballs after a certain number. I feel right. like. after like yeah. I hit ten k, it was just like oh, you get like a thousand every month kind of thing. And Crazy. then um, definitely the the bud slide at Clipper like mm. still gets like posted almost every day. I'll get tagged in something. I'm like. It's crazy that's still going around. I love just that. one trick. And that's your switch flip Manny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I need to up it though. I need to find a bigger hubba. Gotta go big. It's yeah. always bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. tried yeah, kick do. flip board side butt slide? See the terrible thing I wish, but I can't turn a kick flip front side to save my uh. life. I can kick flip body very well. My body can go front side and I can pivot like fakey front side flips really good, but I can't flip Seems like you could side. just throw it out there though i know no? it's like a, it's that you don't even have to go like you don't have the full front side right uh, 90 into it yeah. you could just kind of go to angle almost yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true yeah, 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 yeah. like a maybe should, we go, should we go back to clipper we, we got time i got a different trick if I oh you gotta do clipper. okay you, oh, you gotta go. do which what trick i don't i don't even know if i'm gonna do it or if it's worth it because i've already done two of the pretty much the same trick there well, don't, but don't i spoil it i like know. doing the the like butt slide and then you transfer to the other side and then go fakie kind of thing oh. or just like go over to the other side and go fakie is off of it. clipper long enough to do that yeah yeah okay yeah. and you don't have to go super fast to get on yeah. because it's just like it tripped me out i had to like figure it out over time but it's like okay how high is my butt and how high is the ledge like i don't have to jump that high especially right. if i'm Gapping yeah. out onto it. Yeah. It's actually nicer when it's higher, so you're not like slamming down onto your butt. Interesting. Yeah. I saw but, someone did it down the, uh, well, the crypto the hubba now, I guess, but the Staples Center. Yeah. Oh, yes. I've, I went there to look at it yeah. with Matt one time. <laughs> yeah. I remember it was one of the first times I visited him. I was like, I could probably do that. I looked at it in footage and I'm like, I know it's big. And I went there and I, and Matt like busted out his camera and I was like, I don't know. I feel like I that, might go to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> that thing is it's big. It's massive. It's big and it's slippery. Like yeah. it's like painted really nice. Mm. So like I just slid down on my butt just like without a skateboard. <laughs> I came off the end of it like so much speed I kinda almost rolled on the ground. I was like, I don't know if I want to be going fast enough to get onto the hubba and sliding that fast and yeah. off like, you know, neck high off the end and just yeah. Or something. Oh, yeah, I saw the randomest <laughs> video today. Someone posted it on their story. So, like, it's some kid at the skate park, little kid, he pulls like his butt out and jumps into the transition. No, and okay. slides across something, pops out the other side, jumps back in, slides back out, and slides over the on deck. What? That must Just, have been like. I was a wet. It was. It was yeah. raining. Oh, it was okay, wet. That yeah, makes yeah, yeah. Sense. I'm like, I was, I was waiting for <laughs> the <that. laughs> waxes, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah. It was like it, it looked like he had just practiced this for so. It was like, woo. It's interesting. He pulled his butt out for it. Yeah, he had he, he had a short <laughs> on. He had to pull it, make sure his butt his butt was hanging out on the masonite. Yeah, I, yeah, it was Mason. He's got a but whole new uh, method. It was either Mason and I, yeah, I or it was it. catch a screw. Yeah, that's okay, the last blood. thing you want to do. It's either that or cement, and I can't, I don't know. We can yeah. pull it up a little bit, but yeah. it was also, impressive. Going back to Staples Center, um, whatever it's called now, I looked at it again and was like, actually, maybe can do it. And then mm. I was like, it's already been done there, which I don't really care about that much. Mm -hmm. But also, like, I realized one of, like, my favorite skaters had done it there. When I, and, like, I watched like, old Micah Hollinger part. Kind oh, of yeah. a random yeah. shout out. Oh, yeah. He, like, <coughs> lay back. He lay back, kick flip, nose slid it, like, really clean and fast. It was so weird. I remember and that. And I was like, wait. Man. Yeah. I watched this when I was younger, and I didn't mm. even know, like, remember that he did it. And I'm like, that's insane. And I can't really do much else. He was there. gnarly. Didn't he do 180 nose grind, too? Yeah, he 180 yeah. nose grind. Yeah. yeah. That's so insane. Not going that fast. Wait, know, did right? he 180 nose grind, 180 out? Or yeah. just came out fakey? He, he, he 180. He 180 out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, I went and looked at that thing kind of recently, and I was like, yeah, this is... It's massive. It sucks. It's, it's massive. It, I feel bad when I'm like, see people skate that stuff. I'm like, that's so scary. Yeah, but like you have Clive Dixon, who is just like a genius on that type of stuff. Like a nose blunt it. Yeah. And, and like Sebo Walker did the nollie flip manual there. I'm like, oh, if you oh, just yeah. would have fell for it at the end, like that would have been so bad. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, especially I mean, skating at Nolly. Yeah, <laughs> just like right, rode on the top of Nolly flip manual down the whole thing. I'm yeah. I'm good here. Yeah, I'm good right here, sitting <laughs> in this chair, talking to Marby. You know. Yeah, same. Um, sit down. Well, this has been amazing. I want to thank you so much for coming by and, and hanging Definitely. out yeah, and, and, thank you. and telling us your stories and all that stuff. Yeah, it was thanks great. Thanks for having yeah, me. It's been great. Oh, it was really amazing. Fun. It was amazing. But. 
We're not done yet. We'd love to give you some nine club stuff to take. Did you fly down here? Or you drove. I flew down. I think I'm going to drive back. Okay, so you got enough room in your trunk then to Matt's throw some trunk. nine club. Oh okay. yeah, I'll stuff it full. We got his. Okay. Well, Kelly, don't get too. Don't go too crazy. You I'll know? grab whatever I can. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. Do we have a bunch of stuff in there? Uh, we got some like Yeti stuff okay. and like some mugs and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Stickers. I'm down for whatever. We get yeah. photo incentive. Well, I'll tell you about that when oh, I give you the. Oh yeah. I'll, you know. We'll, but uh, yeah, if okay. you could do the honors, Kelly, that'd be amazing. Oh yeah. And um, I, I can't get over the earbud thing. I love that. It's so sick. I very, very cool and random. Yeah. Let me take a look. Yeah, I've totally like just like I would buy skull candies and stuff. Yeah, and that's so random. It's just weird. To but see it's it. just cool, like even something like that, like to see your own, to see your art on it. You know. Yeah. It's it's amazing. I Where love am I that. Supposed to press the buttons. Right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm just pulling it up. No, you're good. And then like I think the case charges it or something. Oh wow! wow. And they're cool. dead right now. But I love it. Not a not a good thing to I love say. It. But I had them. I hadn't charged. <laughs> they them were forever. charged. They but do now, last. You know. But yeah. Well, listen. Much success. Yeah. To definitely. you, I'm so stoked that you uh, came on the show, and uh, I've just been a big fan for a long time now, and uh, I'm just stoked to be able to sit down and talk to you and uh, just hang out and kick oh, it. Thank it's you. It's amazing. Yeah, likewise. It's Definitely. so funny just like, yeah, right, being one of the first videos I have, and that's like, oh, everyone's here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And tell your, uh, your friend, uh, what was his name? Shag. 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 Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Oh, one? I forgot one shout oh, out. Okay. My friend P wanted a shout out. And P? Shout out to P in Milwaukee. He's got the best switch flips. Best switch flips. Yeah. Old P mm -hmm. in Milwaukee. Shout yeah. out P. Okay. How do we know P? Uh, just through skating. Oh, I, I mean, that's obvious. But yeah. um. But I mean, like through like. He actually came to one of my. I had an art show a long time ago and like a mm -hmm. group show, just like two things, and he came and saw it and he skates, and then we just stayed in touch since then. Nice. Yeah. That. Cool. Skateboarding is. It's an amazing thing. It really is. You know, I'm so blessed to be here. Same. You know, I love it. I love it. Anyway, Marby, oh. pleasure. pleasure. Thank you so oh. much for coming yeah, by you. here. I'm going to keep these, by the way. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, know. <laughs> I, mean, I have 30 of them. They're my gotta, earwax in those Okay, ones. don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, well, first of all, here's some Nine Club stuff to take home oh, yeah. with you. Thank uh, you. We got the uh, Nine Club shirt. We got the old Jason Lee. You were big for Jason Lee Black yeah. Video Days? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. For sure. Oh, this well, because is... you said the first video that you actually... Oh, I guess it was a legal video that you saw was... Uh, yeah, right. I, but you, before that, you... For sure. I mean, I had. I was a late to Jason Lee. It was like, oh, my name is Roll. Like, did you know I used to be a pro skater? Oh, yeah. And then you no watched way. Video Days. Oh, yeah. Okay, it okay. Was knowing him as an actor first. But this is this is funny because he was wearing the dollar sign shirt. So that's yep. in there, too. Yeah. So oh, it's in the there, too? Yeah, it's oh, a double. Sick. We did a Bitcoin one for the you know 2022 modern day, yeah. modern day one, but uh, it's uh, the money one's in there. Hell, yeah. Then we got the old uh, switch flip Manny, of Ooh, course. Classic. Of course. Which pretty soon the butt slide is going to be a shirt too. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get that going. And a uh, crew neck. No, Ooh. it's crew neck already. Yes. And we, we got a, a, a bunch of stuff in there. So after the show, we'll, we'll get it. But it's oh, just. Uh, well, oh, to yeah. be honest, we don't have a lot of stuff in there. But Oh, we don't? No. But uh, clothing slim. wise, we don't really have much. I got to <laughs> give one of these to Shag. When I oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give yeah. some to yeah. Shag. And then uh, Nine Club Yeti. Oh, got to stay, yeah. stay hydrated out Definitely. there. Damn. You know? And then uh, one of our, our mugs. You know, this is a big uh, saying on the show. We got skaters supporting skaters. Yeah. That's what we're all about here, you know? Yes, we are. So there's a, uh, a mug right there. Sick. And then uh, the next magazine you're in, or the... Spitfire part. Spitfire part. Yeah. Well, no, we're looking for the cover of Thrasher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> cover of Thrasher, 20 bucks. We oh, get 20 it. bucks. Yeah. Cover. Is that okay? That's perfect that's more than a lot of people <laughs> that's damn true yeah. damn true <laughs> you know well marby thank you so much for coming Definitely. by you're welcome back anytime we can't wait to see the spitfire part and the uh the tour video for from there if you haven't seen uh their um skateboards what is it called you ruining, ruining skate skateboarding, yeah. ruining skateboarding so love good. it great and shout out to uh jeff jeffrey yeah yeah shout out jeffrey oh yeah love jeffrey D switch Seems backside out. flip Big 50 show. 50 amazing mm -hmm. oh yeah love that doing a great job over yeah. there and um dude i just I, i'm i'm stoked thank you so much oh yeah, oh, yeah. thank you mm -hmm.